Peace and love. Peace and love and welcome back, everybody. Please like and share the video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Be sure to select all so that you can receive notifications every time we go live and upload to the channel. Peace and love. Welcome back, everybody. If you can hear the sound of my voice, drop a one in the chat room. Most, most, much respect to everybody in the chat room, by the way. Make sure you guys hit that like button on your way in. Thank you so much for doing that. We're going to be building with the brother Big Aboriginal Power today, guys. Let's drop a bomb for that. Today we are having a conversation among Aboriginals. Salutes to all of you out there. And and, and toward, towards at some, at some point in this bill, we will allow uh, for a round table towards the end or whatever, or, you know, whenever you guys would like to do that. So salutes to that. Also, with no further ado, right, let me allow Big Aboriginal Power to introduce himself uh, to you guys, and we're going to get this thing on the way. Salutes to the brother, and I'll be camming up here in just a second. And, uh, yeah, salutes to everybody, man. Let's drop the bombs for real. Shout out to you, bro, Sanchez, man. Shout out to the chat, man, to the panel, to the channel. Y'all know what's up, man. Shout out to everybody in the building. Hopefully everybody's enjoying their day. So, yeah, we're going to get into a few things, man, here in just a second, man. So let's get it in. Let's get it in. Shout out to Bro Sanchez for having me on once again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, guys, if anybody uh, in the chat room have any questions, at me, right? Turn me orange and ask your questions throughout the show, and we'll run those across the bill as well. Now, me and this brother agreed to collab and we didn't have any topic whatsoever. We let it stay open, and we agreed to just see where the bill goes. So I'm looking forward to it like all of y'all. And, again, I'm about to cam up here in just a minute. As soon as I roll up, you already know how it go. So, you know. But, my brother AP... If there's anything you have to open us with, if you want to open up with any topics, you go right ahead. And if not, I'll throw some on the table. We can do it that way. I like these casual bills. Yeah, I like these casual bills as well, brother. Like I said, man, I like to get into some of the science. I like to focus in on some of, some of what our ancestors left behind and we able to utilize it and see if they did things right. And uh, under my own research, I feel like our ancestors did it right. And they left us the correct documents to, to observe that. I believe that over time, uh, powers that be in certain communities that is held in the scientific realm uh, uh, altered and, and muddy up the waters when it comes to our ancestors' documents. So we want to kind of touch on the sacred science of geometry, the hidden language of our ancestors. Is, is kind of what I want to touch on. Okay, yeah, and I got the screen share unlocked if you want to throw up some screen shares as well. Um, to all the Aborigines in the house who are familiar with the concept of Turtle Island, if that's something y'all interested in discussing, we can build on that as well. But yeah, most definitely, whatever you got for us, AP, we all ears, and again, that that the screen share is open. If you ever, if you have any entourage AP that you want to bring on, just send them the link. You know what I'm saying? Send them on the link. You can have whoever you want up. So salutes to the information we about to get. And again, everyone hit the like button. I'm about to cam up and be right with y'all. If you're in the building, you want to join, let it be known. If you got any information, we screen share. I don't share have it. any slides prepared right now, but I will be yeah. uh, simply trying to pull up some as we 
gather in this conversation and hit to a particular point. Okay. Hey, uh, AP, you familiar with Light Man? Yeah, Light Man Z, he's good people. That's who we had on the conversation the other day when we was on Three Way. That's that what was, I'm, yeah, that I'm was tripping. Right. You Man, I got to quit smoking this. <laughs> Let me quit. <laughs> Put that CBD down, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, we're going to uh, have some good information for y'all today concerning Mesoamerica, the old Mex, the Mayan. We're going deep, y'all. And then you'll be getting a very unique perspective from different uh, researchers here, man. It's going to be dope. We only wait. We just waiting on me right now. I'm sitting here rolling up and shit. But if anybody want the floor is open. What's good, light man? What welcome, bro? How you doing? I'm good, brother. We live right now. Yeah, we are live. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to brother Sanchez. I'm straight, man. Uh, Mesoamerica, uh, Omex is sound interesting, man. Sound like it's about to get about to get real crazy. I'm all for the. I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm good over here. Uh, whenever we get started, you know, I'm going to just build with y'all, brother. That's it. Like me and Z. Let's get it. Okay. All right, guys. Now start with some screen shares. Sorry about this uh, delay. But you said smoking my light away. <laughs> I'm a roster, man. Y'all know you got to look at me just like a roster. I'm going to constantly be smoking as part of my spirituality. Now what you going to say? Some people worship the devil. Some people sacrifice innocent animals. All I do is burn a little plant, my nigga, for my spirituality. My spirituality ain't heard nothing. I think me and these rosters got the best spirituality you can have. The inhalation of plants. Some people say, why don't you make a tea with it? Because, nigga, I'm not with the Boston Tea Party. I'm with the Smokers Club. My people had the peace pipe, goddammit. Now, you ain't going to tell me how to uh, uh, eat my greens. I inhale some of my greens, goddammit. Now, let's get this show on the road, guys. Y'all ready? Turn up. Yes, sir. You ready to get it in? Shit, we been ready. I've been the only one that ain't motherfucking ready. Isn't that right? So, guys, what <laughs> I'm going to start off, I'm going to just tell y'all something real quick. I'm going to start us, um, you know what? Let's start at Pangea. Let's start all the way at Pangea and work ourselves up, shall we? Because a lot of people in the Pan-African community and a lot of people in the Aboriginal community, we're in all communities, you have um, what I call centeredness movements. And these are the people in the movements that center their entire movement as the foundation for world origins. That's why I put the word pan in front of it as well. Do you guys know of any pan aboriginals and are you guys familiar with the term I coined there and why I coined it? And, and then we could start shedding light on some of that. Yeah, we can get into that world. There haven't been a pan aboriginal movement because the aboriginals usually like to deal with where we're planted, where our feet is first. And it kind of takes away from that what we known to be the pan anything movement, but it yeah. was a pan Andean movement. The Pan Andean movement uh, was around in the 70s, the early 80s, roughly around the time that the uh, uh, the heightened sense of the Pan African community was being mm. introduced to hip hop. So yeah, yeah, well, I'm very familiar with that. But as far as a, this new perspective and new shed of information and, and that we bring to the light, no, I don't think it is a, a Pan uh, Aboriginal movement. Right. I never met nobody that identified as a Pan Aboriginal or Pan American. And, and I done been around a lot of sectors of Aboriginal information. 
I done been around the Moorish sector, the Hebrew sector, the the Native American sector, the you know all different types of sectors. None of them ever identified as pan pan Aboriginal, but that pan goat shit, that's some different shit. What's up, bro? What's good? Uh, I like what I'm hearing, and no, no, you won't hear nobody identify as pan Aboriginal, pan American. That's just something I coined. I think that what I was referring to was um. Is there's a theory that supports civilization starting in Mesoamerica or America? What I was, you know, debating with the Pan Africans was, hey man, civilization didn't start in Africa. And I found myself debating back in the day with a couple of Aboriginals that civilization also didn't start in America. And if people ask me where civilization started, I would say civilization just started. Um, and that's one of those universal things that I think, because what I'm looking for right now, it's a good uh, topic that'll provoke our thought, something that we might not necessarily agree fully on, but that'll bring out some of our good information and stuff. So I'm willing to hear what you guys got to say. I was just saying, basically at the foundation of all my research, er, what I find, everybody want to say civilization started where they, holy land or sacred place is. And um, I've just come to realize that all humans were just were civilized. It didn't really start in any particular place. That's a complex question, right? Because I, I, I'm, I'm to the point where I agree that civilization doesn't just horn us and people branched out to every crevice on this planet and brought that particular science there. I don't believe that. I believe people ultimately develop their civilization and their science within their own areas. But what we do have, which is very, very, very thin lines between being the one who create and one who advance. So what we're ultimately having a conversation with when we're looking at archaeology and we're looking at civilizations putting their science and overwhelmingly being revered to another civilization is the advancement of civilization. And I believe certain uh, particular places can be credited to the advancements of civilization. All right. Somebody's saying that that uh, they want the link drop. That's what I was going to ask you. Uh, uh, if it's all right with you, AP, I'm a, I can I can drop that link out there. And if anybody want to come up to interject with us, maybe we can rotate them in and out like that. But if not, we can reserve that to the end. Now, no, that's fine. Any time, just make sure they're respectful. If they ask their question, just give opportunity for it to be answered or elaborated. Yeah, and also, I would also tell you guys, if you have any kind of smoke with anyone on the panel, this will be a perfect time for you to do it. Click that link, come on up, and guess what? We're in, I'm in a good mood, actually. I'm not even, if somebody want to debate me, man, come say what you got to say. It ain't no, nothing serious. Uh, somebody said you can't be a roster and an aboriginal. Yes, you can. Yes, you, why you can't? You can mix any of two things and get a hybrid. I don't understand that. Three, even three, four things. You can be all. You can be what you want to be on cloud nine. Yeah, you can be all that. If a dude can be a man and a woman, I can be a roster and an aboriginal. The hell with what you saying. <laughs> Hey, bro, could I touch back on that thing you brought up with the uh, who created civilization first? Go ahead. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, you know, we going off what other people reported, right? What their findings is for the most part. And then we observing certain things for ourselves, right? And so from what they report and what, what they record is Sumerians, you know, are one of the most ancient people. Some people even go back into the Anunnaki. But I brought up the Sumerians because I seen one of the Sumerians carrying corn. Correct? We see him carrying corn or some people be like, it's a pine cone. And they go back to the pineal gland or, you know, they, they go real deep with it. But we know, go ahead. 
is Sumerians. You need to cut your YouTube, uh, Willard Wright. Salutes to everybody joining. This is the show with Big Aboriginal Power and Light Man. And uh, we, we appreciate y'all bringing your questions, smoking, whatever you got. Let's get it. This should be good. Go ahead, Peace brother. Peace and love to the panel. Peace and love to the panel. And all questions you got about the Aboriginal community, uh, run them through the table, um, guys. And, and also, hey. let that brother finish. Yeah, y'all go ahead. Grand Rise yeah. and uh, Brother Sanchez, okay. real quick, let me tap in. Big Dog, Philly OG. Much dog. love and respect to you, bro. Big App, Light Man, and everybody in the chat. You know, my, my quick question that I want to ask, you know, uh, you know, allegedly after the flood, what was the first landmass to uh, the basically, you know, the uh, come from under the water is my quick question to everybody. Much love, much respect to everybody. Flat motherfucking power. Now we got to go think- with wet flood, though, because, it, 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 <laughs> we, we, you know, we got to really... Oh, and by the way, let me make an announcement, y'all. Sit down with Sanchez Live Podcast. Going to be on strike for two weeks, but it's all good. That just mean I'm going to be live over here, Mo, and I know y'all going to like that anyway, so fuck it. <laughs> but, yeah, we got it. Shout out to Barbara Sun joining the call, man. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to let those brothers go and answer. I was just saying that when we refer to in, uh, the flood, we got to be specific on what flood we represent and then also did it really take place before we go into things that the flood could have affected. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, I got you, bro. I was uh, just saying, uh, technically, the biblical flood, you know, uh, the flood that, you know, our people love talking about. That's the one I was talking about. I'm going to mute up. Much respect to everybody, okay. man. Grand that, bi- that biblical flood. Yeah, so what... Yes, what I, yeah, you know... I think me personally, right, we do have to talk about floods when we talk about uh, who we are, when we talk about the history of uh, culture on these geographic lands and whatnot. We do got to bring up floods because floods would have affected some of the artifacts. It would have affected the way we perceive history, these resets, right? Now, when we bring up floods, I think that uh, it's important to speak of floods of something that could have been other than just this thing flooding with a bunch of water on some Atlantic stuff, right? Because when we start thinking deep about it, electromagnetic, electromagnetic energy waves or what they call in solar flares, those have been... Well, there's a lot of theories that say these have reset civilization a couple of times as well. The Mayans spoke of a lot of resets, but they never spoke of floods. Some cultures call these resets floods, but they, they ain't necessarily with water. It's a lot of uh, electromagnetic, uh, uh, what would I call Flood the mud flood is one of them too. Yes, you gotta bring that up. Yeah. And the reason why well, why they say it's mud flood because you're dealing with liquefaction. So a lot of That's electromagnetic one. energy will, will cause extreme vibration, which would then cause a, a phenomenon which is called liquefaction, where the soil, each molecule gets vibrated and separated so much where the land literally starts flooding like a mudslide, like soil itself, land becomes like water-like substance. Yeah. So is it safe to say avalanches and earthquakes can be included or associated with floods? I mean, in in a sense to where they can cause large bodies of water to flood, but not in the sense of the vibrational power of electromagnetism. Cause see, with like this, the shit we talking about, you would have to like uh, see examples of like a, a solid pool of uh, sand, and however solid sand could be. And then once you vibrated enough or put the right amount of wind and, and pressure through it, that sand become like an ocean, just wavy and watery and runny. So if you can imagine that being the soil itself, you know what I'm saying? That that's the process we're talking about. Not just the ground shaking, but just 
a vibrational energy so extreme that it caused uh, liquefaction of objects. I get what you're saying. I get what you say. I, uh, I know Thoth and Emerald Tablets refer to something like these great resets using these mud floods. And it, it, this mud floods, a lot of these things happened before, but Brother Sanchez brought up Pangea. Well, ultimately, right? just before we move from the flood story, because uh, ultimately people think of one, one large uh, flood that happens. But in, also in retrospect, there's a theory of multiple floods happening over the course of hundreds of years as well so when we're dealing with a flood store we have to be concise of which one that we're talking about one brought up the one that we're mentioning in in the uh most latest religion that we hear christianity the noah's flood which is ultimately related back to atlantis contemporary science says that something happened as recent as uh 12 000 years which would be the earliest flood of uh, that we going with if we're going to use these guys dating but just not using their dating we can just look at the sheer stories that went on we don't got to get with the date but we can get into the reality what actually ha happened and we know that water has affected particular areas across the globe not just the, i mean across the planet not just the eastern hemisphere but the western hemisphere as well so we're and back that was my point you know that i wanted to bring this up because not to interrupt you brother so you can uh tap in more you know uh they some say that america was the first country that came you know uh after the, the floods allegedly but that's all Corral i was Supe. saying Go ahead, brother. A, lot, a, a lot of people do mention uh america's the, which is the land of the constellation eagle being mimicked to the other side of the world and also being the first one to rise out of this great global, global flood. And that's mentioned in the ancient mystic oriental masonry Bible. So you can take that with, with it, however you need it, eat the meat and spit out the bones. But the most significant part is that when we get into historical texts, well, what we deem is mythology. And me and bro Sanchez know that a lot of things that they deem as mythology is rooted with truth. And it just takes time for contemporary stuff to either be a man of their word or to catch up with data. And I believe that they have caught up with this particular story that has been regurgitated from Plato that was being passed down from other generations talking about this great flood story. It was also romanticized in, like we said, the Bible. It was also reiterated in the Book of Gilgamesh. And so when we start getting to these particular cultures, cultures who coined this particular thing, we're going to have to start looking for significant, for significant characteristics and cultural practices that can lead you to one particular people to whom told this story. So we have Inca stones, emerald tablets, soft tablets, and various other sources. So yeah, man, I think this is a dope conversation. I, I don't know if we want to deviate from the floods, but what about uh, like the, 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 the mud flood period? during the 1800s here in America. Do any of y'all subscribe to that? Like the city yeah. well, burned down. Well, I, I, like, I, the 1800s is like a period of like, you know, uh, a lot of confusion. You know what I'm saying? As far as the historical record goes, it's a lot of misinformation. It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, hand movement, misdirection type of thing. So what y'all think about that? Because a lot of cities are, uh, most of the major cities in America I like two, three cities on top of each other, buried. And, you know, in the 1800s, it's a lot of uh, stories of either mud slides or whole cities being burnt absolutely. down, you know, and this no, worldwide too. No, absolutely. And and, and just, and I'm going to let Paul uh, Sanchez get into this as well. This, that's a very intriguing question, especially going to the 1800s. There was a lot of things taking place within indigenous so-called Negroes in this particular North American landmass that was happening in the 1800s. On top of this uh, alleged earth, uh, earthquake or a uh, mud flood, they call it the Madrid earthquake, which uh, they say gave you know birth to what we call this mud flood. And it happened around 1808. Uh, what's, what's funny about that, in those particular areas, less than four years after that, you have something called the War of 1812. And I don't know if any of you guys do any research of the War of 1812. There's hardly any documentation of, 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 of recorded deaths during that particular war. It's almost like a silent war. Uh, so I don't know if you guys have any anything on that as well, just to add. Yeah, I, I, I personally believe, and see, 
you guys have already opened up the door for us to go deep. I see this is going to be real deep. So now that let me know I don't got the whole back. I'm on a call with a bunch of deep motherfuckers. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't think that this earth is old at all. I, and I'm talking about I think this is a very young earth that was just created. And in the time that it was created, we've destroyed it and rebuilt it several times. Um, when we talk about how this earth was created, that's going to lead into this conversation we having about the flood. The flood is the flood that started this entire universe. But there are other floods, plural. But the great flood is a term we hear a lot. And that's the flood that that's talking about the Big Bang for real. This is another word for Big Bang. You know what? Let me start screen sharing, maybe. Absolutely. And yeah, man, I think that's a dope, dope way to look at it, too, that maybe it ain't as old as they think it is. Or maybe it's older than what we think it is. Um, our only true perception of time is our true understanding and, and and the way we understand it is we are the true measurement of time and and, it, and i like to go by some of our documents for my ancestors because i felt like they had the things right and i felt like they try to document as much as they can and according to the zeros that's documented on the macintosh daily which i'll probably pull up in just a second it shows that civilization and building and understanding what goes on around this particular planet right goes on 47 octillion years and we're gonna get into some of this right now i want to let you break this down before i piggyback off what you got to say brother sanchez okay for sure i'm gonna just say this i know y'all probably tired of seeing this map right here but there's a reason i put this up right so because we talking about this great flood that started everything now they call this shit pangea but they all agree that our physical universe ain't physical. It started from an expansion of light. M Lately, I've been uh, doing a lot of videos on the Big Bang. And I don't know if y'all been following, but the Big Bang videos that I've been doing, let's take a look at some of these Big Bang images because when we talk about the flood, this what the great flood was. It was the creation of when this when this thing expanded, it flooded uh, an entire bubble with this ethereal fourth state of matter that all this solid liquid gas and all that sits within. So another way of looking at that is this right here. This what we looking at is literally a petri dish bacteria expanding from the middle of the petri dish. This was what they would call the Big Bang, you know, you see this? So I don't know how deep y'all really want to go, but if you want to talk about Pangea with me, I'm going to go pulling up Petri dishes and shit, showing you why they even calling it a pan, because each one of these little bubbles we see is a universe being formed, just like the one we see here, and they cross over into each other. And when you zoom out, this what's going on, a multiverse I'm, I'm, of universes. I want to get into that. I want to get into Absolutely that. Absolutely correct. I want to get into that conversation with you. I'm the great fungus. I want to pull up the Mayan calendar. Okay, uh, let me. Just in retrospect to what's going on, so we can have a look at what's going on around here. Man, AP, I was about to, I, I was, I'm actually looking at the mind calendar right now. Yeah, that's yeah. that ripple effect. That's yeah, that so, so when we get into this, like he said, just to correlate it all, our ancestors had this whole science that Brother Sanchez is now explaining in colloquial terms about this big bang being metaphor as water. And our ancestors metaphorically use it as the ripple effect. And not only that, they got even precise to understand that each ripple section that separates another ripple from, from one another is a time barrier. And time works within those particular places differently. And our ancestors document that each mm -hmm. ring depict how time works in each, each dimension or zone or plane of existence, if you will. So our ancestors documented this time. They were able to go hundreds and trillions of years in the, in the past and even as far as 10 to 12,000 years in the future. Uh, so this is what you're looking at right now. This is the ripple reflect explained in Mayan science with mathematics to, to go behind it when you look at the Mayan calendar. Yeah. That's facts. 
that Mayan calendar got set, got those seven spikes around it. That became the Statue of Liberty over here in America. And um, the thing about that Mayan calendar, I'm going to go back to the screen share with y'all, is that Mayan calendar is another interpretation of what, what I was showing here with the Petri dish. So how, how we all connect in this going to be good for all of y'all. So... This is basically showing this same concept of the Big Bang or this ripple effect expanding from the center, which is going to be this great mother here with her tongue out, as you can see right there. But that's this same thing here. That's all I wanted to point out about the great flood, because, listen, when we look at the way this energy floods uh, from the middle, guess what? When this thing reaches the edge of the pre Petri dish, it, well, what happens is it has different revolutions of fungi spread from the center. They call them generations. So you will have a first layer of fungus that that lead a center, and it'll make it out of its Petri dish, meaning when the fungus overgrow its Petri dish, it start pouring over the edge of the Petri dish, and it becomes something else when it get outside the Petri dish. Check it out, y'all. If you leave a little Petri dish on your desk and let the fungus keep growing, it's possible in a couple of years that that fungus will coat your entire fucking room. No, It'll that's, just that's, keep going. Now, that's watch true. That's true. My bad. And, and, and I'm going to land a plane with this, though. Just like humans, there are different ages, what the Maya talked about. AP just said, at different rings within rings. How them get created is because, like we seeing this first ring get created, right? It ain't just one exodus from the center from Eden. It ain't just one. Just like you see this ring way out here, it's another ring coming, a baby ring following that one. And it'll eventually look like this... Uh, ripple effect name because it, it's, it's having generations of expansions from the center so this is one right here then why that one going it'll give birth to another one and another one it'll be multi-layered flower if y'all can picture this it'll start to look like this which is a ripple effect so when they say man we weren't living on the earth during that age or we weren't living on the earth during that generation. That just mean you weren't in that wave that left Exodus from the center. Our whole universe is an expanding universe that's being projected outward from this inner pole. And um, that right there is a good place to start with Pangea. That way we can see that if we want to talk about the very first civilizations or cultures now, those wouldn't be any of the seven that we know today. They would be these four four continents that's around the North Pole that we ain't allowed access to. And these would be the most advanced civilizations, even showing you the origin of the uh, Tartar people, the Pygmy, all of them. Let me show them to you real quick, and then I'm going to land right there. So the first civilizations that would have been visible if we go with this expansion thing, it would have been these four continents surrounding the North Pole. Now, from these four continents, it said all of the seeds of man and races come from these four continents. Now, some people say, hey, white people seed come from one of these lands, uh, and, and some other folks seed may come from that continent, and these folks from here, that, that didn't it go to argument of this these, this is Eden, basically, what I'm showing you. We we left Eden, which was this, and then we expanded out with like we see on the bacteria thing. But, yeah, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and, 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 and just, I just wanted to start us, put something on the table to get us going. I'm going to uh, mute up, though. Uh, you dropping some heat, man. We we like that. We like that type of shit. So when you getting into some of this science, man, just to piggyback off of what you're saying, when you're looking at this Mercator map, this is this is this is old world mapping, and this map was put together by prior map makers that came from 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 beyond. So when we talking about Pangea, Pangea at its original form, 
And when we get into the story of Pangea, which a lot of people don't like to bring up, which is one of the main factors, which is water secretion. Water secretion, the rising of water out of nowhere, which goes back into this flood story or uh, to what we call the Great Big Bang or the separation point uh, is what we're talking about. So, and this is documented in several different forms. As a matter of fact, they got a science of this continuous vibrational energy that still affects us today. It's called cymatics in each place each area each physical mass that we can use to see has a particular vibration then that particular vibration can be manifest into a physical shape or form that we can identify whether it's diamond snowflake shape or etc so uh this is this is the signs that our ancestors uh, uh used because they built cities based off of these vibrations but, they called them star forts and these star forts was an exact pattern of which the vibrational frequency would have manifested in physical form so that's just that. you know and you know what this makes me think about the fibonacci sequence this makes me think about the seashell you know how the seashell ripple effects and it keeps turning and turning right it, and this makes me think about the cosmic flood that can be talked about the cosmic egg, right? And it also makes me think about the tree of life. You know, to draw the tree of life, you start with a circle and you keep drawing a circle within a circle. You understand? So a lot of things come to, come to mind. And then when you observe life, the flowers, everything, your fingerprint. If you look at your finger, your index finger, you can see it right there. And then you look at your, the middle of your ear. There's a monkey. Look, look, look at your thumb. Look at the mind calendar. Look at what we call the Mercator or the flat earth map. And then you go and look at a tree stump. The symbolism of the rings is, 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 is impeccable. It's, it's, a, it's a universal science that's implanted based off of the vibration that started in the earliest of time of since time beginning. It's a, it's, it's a signature, ultimately. To, to the people in the chat, if you want to go deep into like the cymatics and the Big Bang side, check out the two Big Bang videos that I did. I ain't going to be uh, building on them too long. I'm going to just make one point to tie into uh, Pangea because we tying it all together for y'all right now and salutes to all the brothers. So with this whole bacteria expanding, it's not water. Right, that's what I want to add. It's plasma. Now they have not taught us about this. That's what we're looking at right here. As when we look in, this is plasma. So what happens is right. What plasma is, pla you got three states of matter they teach us about that in religion, the Holy Trinity, right? Uh, solid, liquid, gas, right? But they don't tell us that light is its own state of matter that they call plasma and that the other three states of matter transform themselves through the fourth state of matter, which is light plasma. It's the transformative state symbolic of the soul transfiguration with Christ ascending to the heavens. So what we see when they talk about this great beast of, and he brought up the tree ring, right? This is from the previous stream. This will show you how the flat earth ring map, is made and how the flat earth dome with the ice ring from the big bang expansion right but this is really what pangea is this is really what pangea is and the way that that bomb explodes is just like life is an explosion is like a bacterial fungus explosion from a central stem like what we see here but we're breaking this thing down very uh simple for y'all so y'all can see the deep shit in a simple way but um we we could go ahead and pass it around from there i think that's pretty good stopping point and we can keep volleyballing this thing who all want it and we do got rob on the back call but man that's i, I don't really <laughs> want to debate rob if y'all want me to i'll let him on we can let him on we got, I got a question Oh, yes. Yeah. Salutes, Sister Bethy. Salute, y'all. So, Brother Sanchez, app. Uh, I had a quick question. Hey, oh, oh, you want me to wait and ask my question after? 
Oh no, let let Sister Bethy was first with the question. Let her go. Yeah. Okay. The flood. Can we um can you have you have you learned if the flood of Noah was really a real flood? And if so, did it destroy the entire earth? And if it didn't, where exactly was that flood at? Okay, so Noah's, the flood that we're talking about with Noah is representing another generation from the center. All of, all of these floods, whether it's Noah or no matter what they're talking about, is talking about a generation of souls coming from this center right here and expanding outward like we saw here with the bacteria and fungus. This is what they call in the exodus from Eden. That's why with Noah, Noah represents a whole DNA, a whole DNA change, a reset in animals and a terraformation, a whole alternate reality, a new earth was built under uh, Noah. And that's what these uh, resets are. We, we going through one right now. So when them brothers put up that Mayan calendar, the Mayans spoke of seven resets that that's going to take place overall. And we in the seventh one now. The Bible revelation call it the breaking of the seven seals. But this so we, we're really living in all that now. But this whole expansion shape, it resembles the Mayan calendar. It shows uh, the connection. But um. Yeah, I just don't look at those floods as destroying the earth. I look at those floods as creating the earth because it's a flood of plasma energy. And if you look at this, right, it's a paradox because you would think, the, like, look at this collage. This would suggest that, damn, that, that them people got obliterated. That's a big explosion. It ended life. It actually didn't. It, it regenerated life. That's what Noah mean, a reset. Well, all life was, was never ended on earth. It was just life was reset um, and, and it, it, under a new fucking bloodline and lineage. That's what's been happening on the earth. And my, and my research shows this as far as what these people in power been doing. They've been going through, they've basically been orchestrating these apocalyptic events and, um, the reason for that is to rewrite the genome, to reset everything. And right now, while we going through all this stuff on the earth, they talking about CRISPR, rewriting genetics. This word genetics come from the word Genesis. Seven different creations of this human prototype. But each seven is different because all of the rich folks during those generations tampered with the genetic terraformed and reset the environment and and basically we have biological toxic transmutation seven of them um when you start researching all these floods and putting it together even the mud floods suggest a time where life was wiped out by some mysterious worldwide event and then all of a sudden they just had to come out of that on some dark age light age type crap but so that's why I got this up here. I don't want to blabber on too long. I want to keep the flow open. But this would suggest that life would end once we make the most biggest bomb on the earth. But actually, once we make the biggest bomb on earth, we just recreating the Big Bang, which is just going to reset life again. Um, I had a question in regards to the Pangea. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And this is in um, regards to like the original, what, what I guess majority of people think as Pangea of, of it being like one big landmass. Um, so my question always, the people who, who said we, we all come from Africa was, uh, you know, if it started off with one mass and it broke apart and you got people, you know, the people who stayed where the, you know, the continent of America was, and then you had the other people stay in the other land mass. The people were still on the American continent. Then 
how can you call them African if they never left that that particular landmass? And I can never understand, you know, how people would just be like, oh well, every, it all came from Africa. But I'm like, if it all broke apart, like we're taught, like we were taught, like, and they never left that particular area, then you can't say that they're African. So that was my question. Yeah, I, I just if it, if anybody else, uh, AP Lightwork, if y'all want to interject, you already know this is what it is. But yeah, I was just you know my thing is like I don't think that any particular group of humans left Africa and seeded the rest of the world with the seed of humanity. That's why that's what I like about this whole petri dish concept. It shows that life was a seed that expanded from a central point in a 360 degree fashion and that's why we just brought up the fibonacci spiral and all that as well um i, I wanted to tap in on his his question and sister bethy's question he spoke about the pangea we got to know that the pangea talks about a water secretion which means a, which we talk about uh, a, a level shifting of the water and the lands you see what i'm saying and then we always yeah that's, we do, yeah, that's what they see. I I actually got popular for debunking the whole what they taught us with the Pangea water theory. Cause then what you need, you gotta ask yourself, where did the water come from? Just like if you ask the people with the Big Bang theory, where did the matter come from? Right. But yeah, you, I see where you're going with it with the. Uh, Pangea thing. It just well, when most, I was most looking, Pangea, yeah. most Pangea people explain explain it to be uh, separating of the land. They oh, the land, early, which, is, which which never happened. Yeah, they right. really really mention water secretion when I hear people explain Pangea. Right, they don't. Yeah, you right. I, 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 I only heard him basically bring it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was we, so, so we that means he he on point with it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah, we up. know if the lands were if the lands were separated, the earth will literally be cracked. The world will look like it's cracked in all different places. But to to add something to what Sister Bethy was talking about with Noah's flood, they say Noah's flood was built out of gopher wood. Gopher wood has always and only been grown in Blountstown, Florida. You know, it's come from two different American trees. If you type in on Google, uh, you definition mean his, of Goku, uh, Goku ark. his ark. Yeah, was, Noah's yeah, ark. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, Noah's ark. And the and the scriptures that say it was built out of gopher wood. And you know, you will find uh, all evidences that that wood is only grown in Blountsville, Blountsville, Florida. So if there was a Noah's Ark or a Noah's Flood or anything ancient, it had to start in America, which which my research leads to leads me to believe. You understand? But go ahead, I pass the mic. Yeah, you would you would still well the only thing about that would be you would still have this biblical foundation of Noah synced to this real American, Mesoamerican culture. But now, yeah, and but, I think, but, yeah, I feel like it. But if you can get rid of the biblical understanding, understand that this is a, a, a ancient person who, who who occupies and utilizes the science from 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 the people that we're explaining, and, and, and a cataclysm happening which forces him to gather what science he can bring to take to the next place to re jumpstart civilization. I believe it's depicted in various different high relief carvings from here in on the eastern hemisphere explaining that same story. Yeah, uh, uh, the whole thing about the lands breaking apart and separating from Africa, I never could get jiggy with that Pangea story. There, I know y'all don't mess with that one either. And they used to say, right. hey, man, Africa is the only continent that's still mounted. Uh, uh, excuse me, what they crazy stuff? They'll say uh, Africa, right, it's the only continent that's still mounted to the core, core of the earth and never moved. But let me show you what they did. They basically made Africa the new Eden. If you look at this blue pole in the middle of this uh, uh, seven heavens model here, that never moved. The North Pole never moved. All of the energy is being distributed from the North Pole and spread outward around it like a ripple effect, just like that Petri dish, just like this. 
in the middle of this Petri dish, that center part will never move. As all of the energy pushes away from the center, it locks the center in place. It locks this core, this dense core, like the stem of a flower. Right there, boom, zero degrees. Now, the only thing about this is what this is representing, though, is how light it spans. When, if you really want to go into like this Big Bang theory, it, if you, so scientists is basically saying in so many words, physical matter is holographic. When they say that um, only 1% of the entire universe is physical, this is what they saying right here. They saying that this is what the universe is. The 1% of the universe is actually physical. What they telling you is we're hollow. And that will go along with holography, the hollow, that the state of matter a, a, on a macro level really weighs nothing. But within this simulation, within this uh, holographic matrix here, we experience weight and density. So if you understand how a hologram is created, you, you'll understand what the Big Bang is, what the expansion was all about. And how the light became matter. Let there be light into physical things. Because, yeah, you can use light like Plato, like we see here. You can use the light to shape it into a tree, shape it into a this, that, that. But it's at the end of the day, everything that's made of solid, liquid, and gas, it disappears to a fourth state of matter that they don't tell us about. And that's called plasma, uh, li lightning. Light, which is light, which yeah. is which is electricity and liquid motion all all in one, right? Well, when we talk about plasma, we talking about. Let me show you what we talking about here. It's in our blood too, brother Sanchez. The, I, I, you know, you. I don't want to bring a Bible, but the soul of the blood you. in the Bible says is uh, plasma. Let me Go show ahead. you. Let me show you what that plasma is, though. Watch this. See our our the stuff your blood. And what's going through your veins is two different things. The red stuff in your tissue is blood. But this stuff that's going through your veins, that's plasma. And the difference is this right here, though. What, what, what our vein system is is basically a huge lightning strike that's coming from the heart. The heart is a, like, let me show you something real quick. This is what your heart is. Your heart is the center of a plasma ball. Watch this. And your heart is sending off an electric shock throughout your body per beat. So every time your heart beat, this lightning strike called a vein system get a recharge. We're electric beings. That's why when we die, they hook you up to the electricity. Clear electricity. It, it, it shock us back to life. So here's how the electricity flow through our body, like a plasma ball. From the heart, the, where everything connected to the heart being fed outward. And our veins is no different than lightning strikes. But see, this is the fourth state of matter that's creating cells. These cells are miniature big bangs. There are explosions and implosions like what your heart is doing, contracting and expansion, but they're doing it on a micro level. The heart is the macro. So it's this fractal code that we see even in the universe right here. And our body made the same way. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You can connect that same imagery that you've seen without. If you put it in a steel frame, it looks similar to the branches of a tree without the leaves on it, you know. Uh, yeah. So, or, so or, or a diagram of a canal that runs through uh, whatever landmass that you want to look at, more particularly the Americas. Look at canals, uh, and, and it looks similar to that if you were to put that in steel frame. Most definitely. That's most definitely. All of the river systems running through the earth the same way, and water is, it, is, is electrically charged. So we we on point, man. Um what what I think the thing is, what what we specify and is me personally is that the ultimate state of all matter is light. And that's why, like when the brother referenced the Bible, the first uh 
four words, let there be light. Because you can't do nothing else without the densest, powerful, most powerful state of matter. That light is then used to build creation. But the only reason we having this conversation is to tie it into the origin of civilization. Um, we can move this conversation forward to say, what was the state of humans when this thing unfolded? And I would say that we didn't come in a primitive state where we had to be taught everything and how to cook. I think that human beings were created in their most advanced state of awakening. And ever since then, we just been falling and falling and falling, man, and getting dumber and dumber. Like, but Glad I'm gonna fall back right because there. that goes against mainstream scientists. That was what I would like to call de-evolution. Uh, and and if we're de-evolving, that means the farther you go back, the more evolved, if you will, you should find your people. And I mean mentally and and, and understanding the universe, you know, cosmology. You understand me? Understanding ecology, you know, learning how to understand your surroundings. So, yeah, man, I, 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 I concur with that. But you know what? When you study recent history, you know, we ate less processed foods. We ride around with uh, cars with better materials in it. Like the Cadillacs had dead seats and better material. You know, things just seem more natural and organic as you go back and back and back. And it seemed more simple, but see more better to enjoy you know life was uh easier to enjoy on a natural level but it seems the more we go further we did get disconnected and we don't know what to fucking do go ahead you know how hard it will be to formulate a mathematical science from which someone can understand and observe from scratch how long would it have took to accumulate that particular science how long would it have took to accumulate the science to from which it manifests and be in perfect form from which we see it being utilized and replicated today. You know, so we don't, we can just use common sense to ask how long this, this science would accumulate it from scratch without someone telling them, without seeing someone do it, anything like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And if it all comes from light, I don't know if everybody inside here would agree that the sun is real or not, but if all come from light, who can ingest the light the best? I would say that the people that we call Negroes are black people or aboriginals today. You know what I'm saying? So it would have to originate with us. Anything would have to originate with us. Go ahead. <laughs> well, back to what Bro yeah, Sanchez but... said. I know you disagree, Brother Sanchez. Go ahead. <laughs> But I got respect right. for you, my brother, like, man. I ain't going to just be on some debate shit. Salutes to Sister Betty. Hey, you said, um, back to what you were saying, like, the origin of civilization and um, getting into what was the state of humans. That is an excellent question because I really, really would like to know where did humans start? Uh, where was their starting point? And I just can't, yeah. for the life of me, digest the monkey story shit. But me neither, man. Help. Help. In fact, that shit right there is like the, out of all the shit we ought to be insulted by, Pan-Africanism, yo. Like, in saying that we, to be first, you got to be a monkey. But when we say where did humans come from, anybody else want to uh, go at that? Because I've been talking a lot. Well, yeah, shout out, man. Salute, salute. salute shout, out to the panel. shout out to the panel, to the channel, to the chat. Power to the motherfucking people, man. Look. Sure. From what, from what I can clearly observe, humans come from humans, bro. And that's just as logical as I can be without going all esoteric with the shit. But yeah, y'all can meditate on that. If you want to. But where do humans come from? Where it had to be a first person. Is it just that yeah. it's infinite I, and we'll never know? No, I I, I what I think, think uh-huh. This is what I want, this is what I want you to contemplate. Why is it when it comes to humans, it always had to be a first one? Why yeah. why aren't we saying, do all birds come from a single bird? Do all fish come from a single fish? Do all single 
cell organisms come from one single cell. I, I yeah. think we overlooking what nature is actually providing for us to ingest when we go to saying our humans had to start from just one damn human. I yeah. don't believe that shit, but go ahead. Yeah, I don't think nature would create like a male and female of each flower and then make it depend on them for it to start off fruitful. I do think all life as we see it unfolded at the same time. Like, I think there was a beginning, but there wasn't no beginning. And what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is, it's a paradise. It's like this whole universe that we see, when it started, it didn't start in a primitive state. And that's what I mean by it, it didn't have a baby beginning. It unfolded in an adult, mature-ass, perfected state. And it's Benjamin Button's theory, basically, like to where, like, um, this thing started, but it didn't start to where it was a primitive single cell. All that is like the, the creator, whatever that is, had an idea. And that idea was everything we see outside and that idea always existed like this in this fruitful state with trees everywhere, waterfalls everywhere, fishes everywhere. There was never a time where this idea existed with just two fishes, two trees, two humans, two hippos, and had to evolve in a sequential order. It just unfolded fruitful with the fishes already. It's like starting a movie in the middle. And the movie started in the it had a starting point, but you didn't but it didn't have a starting point because it started, but it didn't start at what we would call a beginning point. It's like when you go to sleep and you dreaming, that dream ain't got a starting point. The dream starts, but it don't start at a beginning point. It just you you just go to sleep. Next thing you know, you driving a car, or some shit. You in a whole nother realm. And till you wake up, you didn't fucking know you was even dreaming. And so it it ain't like the dream started with you in the hospital and all that. It just started with you in the middle of it already. Just and that's kind of what I yeah. Go right. ahead. And what's funny about that dream? It's always fuzzy. It's because you're in a realm where it's plasma all around you. It's energy. And you don't understand it. Nature is a uh, mass. Nature shows you that it's uh, it mass produces diversity, right? Because even even uh, George Washington Carver got the idea of, of mass production to Henry Ford through watching plants. That's why it's called a plant. So to, to your point, thinking that one, you know, it started from one when nature nature shows you mass production to its fullest capacity. Nature don't just create one. Nature create everything abundantly, fully diverse. You know what I'm saying? It's all, and it's always macro, micro. So if you can find something big, you can damn near find it small. You can damn near find the water version of it, the air version of it. Like, it's that much diversity in this motherfucker. Okay, but I, nature, if somebody created Somebody had to be here to plant trees. I, I mean, did you, do you honestly believe a tree evolved on its own by itself with no help? How did it get there? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't, knowing, I don't, I don't, knowing I don't think. Knowing yeah, that it's a creator, I, no, I was going to say, knowing that it's a creator is just uh, paying attention to the, to the synchronicity of nature. What that creator is, we might not never know. But once you know your position on the, on the uh, clock face, is either the hour hand or the minute hand, you know, that's a cycle that you carrying out. You, you see what I'm saying? You don't know who created the watch, but you do know that I'm on this cycle where it seemed like it's perpetual. This is my position to play with it. We know hey, like, and just, we, uh -huh. we just start doing an elimination of what's on this planet that can create uh, what we're talking about. So when we start looking at things being created, and, and, and I'm not saying that it ain't no God, I'm saying maybe we need to start looking within ourselves. Maybe, because I don't think that no random correlations can create what, what we call this big bang. This is a random occurrence that have to happen in the sequences order. This will have to take science and, and understanding. Maybe it's not just one person who created this. Maybe it's all of the particular people who helped create this particular theory, this understanding that we call big bang. 
of arranging these particular elements. And and see but, the problem but, with this whole conversation to me is it wasn't the universe ain't created. We got uh, if we look at the word created versus the word conceive, that'll that'll actually solve the 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 puzzle right there for this reason, right? If I tell you to conceive of a thought right now, if I tell you to conceive of an entire universe in your mind, you can close your eyes right now and do that. From the darkness inside of your mind, there is nothing you can't conceive in less than a second. Now, if I tell you to go create that shit, now that's different. You got to go outside and put that idea together and all that. What I'm saying is the universe was never nothing that had to be put together in a sequential order. It was conceived beyond in a dimension beyond time. And in this, this the dimension that governs time and everything bound to time. And this would be the dimension of thought. This is the dimension where you don't have to create things. You just conceive them. And everything that we create, it got to be conceived first. This is the same thing we see in the hospital. A baby is conceived for it's cr actually created and formed in the womb. That's because the instantaneous process of thought is the most high. That's the governing fourth state of matter that I'm keep telling y'all is light. That state of matter shapes all the other states because this is dealing with holography. It's the, see, understanding the nature of light and ether and all that stuff is so, it, it, I'm telling you, it, 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 it opens up the door because look, when we say earth, that's what we said, ether, ether. But the whole point that I'm making here is this, and I'm gonna um, land, land right here. When it comes to how do you get the physical creation if we acknowledge a physical creation, we got to acknowledge a non-physical. Guess what? You can touch water. You can touch gas. You can touch some solid. You can't touch light. Light interacts with our dimension, but it's not in our dimension. It's light. Is It explains why they, God, all these gods said that they're light. And this little light of mine, all of this stuff about the soul and stuff. But just to... And I'm going to land right here, I promise. The universe wasn't created. It was conceived. If I tell you guys to conceive anything right now, you're conceiving it outside of time, outside of the realm that require things to be put together in some sort of sequential order. The universe in a macrocosmic state don't exist on this realm of solid, liquid, and gas and that deals with sequential order. It's literally a conceived thought that's been that's that's that was never that, that conceived thought never became physical. It only became physical to the one that projected himself inside of the thought, and that's what Ab was talking about. What if we are what if it ain't just one creator? Every living thing in the universe helps make this simulation. And that's why they said if there wasn't enough observers living on Earth, the universe probably would disappear. Mm. I agree, with, I agree right. with Brother Sanchez. And, and, I, and you're right, though. Know, conceive would be a more suited word based off of what we're trying to convey. But I believe create and... and, 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 and and that word goes hand in hand. Conceive and create goes hand in hand. In order to create, you have to conceive, like you said, which is the idea, which is the starting point of the ultimate creation, which is going to manifest or should be to manifest. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, you absolutely. Maybe it did start with the idea. You see what I'm saying? And then ultimately formulate it or manufacture it or create it, if we will. Right. So it, 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 go, ahead. go ahead. Well, Sister Matthew, I wanted to add, I wanted to touch on something you said. You said who could who planted the trees? Who created the trees? You know, uh, studies definitely suggest that the Aborigines of Amazon forest literally created the damn Amazon forest. Like the soil there reproduces at a mass rate. All type how of did shit. They do, how did how did they manufacture a seed? See, this is what I'm saying right here, guys. My thing is, if I tell you guys right now to create a whole forest in your mind, you can do it. 
and 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 that's what I'm saying. If we understand that our universe is a conceived thought within the mind of a thinker that we're calling God, the creator, and all that, and that the thought as we see it, for example, that we screen share right here. This right here never became physical. Our thoughts are holographic reflections that are projecting themselves in the darkness of the mind. They took that and made it the Big Bang. Our whole universe, the darkness, is in the mind of a thinker. And then the idea is the light that's born. See, that light don't need wood to make a tree. It don't need water to make an ocean. It just need light to make a thought. And within that thought is everything we see around us. This law that I'm teaching you right now is why you can't bring nothing into physicality without thinking it first. Because we got a copy off how the creator did it. Hey, so brother, take take someone. Someone. Thank Thank God. God. first. I, I, I couldn't hear y'all, but yeah, salutes to the panel, man. Let me drop a bomb, y'all. This is like and share the video and make sure y'all spread the love. Peace, salute. I, I, I got you. Salute. Yeah, salutes if y'all uh, you're joining on. Salutes to y'all. Just the best. Hey, you can go lose weight brother. in a minute. No, I'm hey, a break. So I want to, uh, there's other people up here. I can wait. All right. I'm open for any questions as well. For sure, man, y'all, you know. Hey, I, I got a question for everybody, though. The, you know, do you believe in, you know, a lot of people, they say extraterrestrial or like aliens or whatever, but like, do you believe in, like, life in other planets? <laughs> I think it's life in other planets, but I think that it ain't what we think it is. I think that it's in the same space that we occupy. You feel me? I don't think it's no such thing as outer space, but I think it's interdimensional realms in the same physical space that we occupy right now. That's what I think. I wanted to ask Brother Sanchez something real quick. I know you about to go, brother. Brother Sanchez, can I ask you a question real quick? No, I'm not, I'm not about to uh, go, but yeah, go ahead. No, I was, you know, you, you talked about conception and conceiving and stuff, right? And what they say about the firmament is that, you know, our sky or our top of the dimension is waters, right? So let's say if the, the, the universe or the firmament was birthed, and we would call that the waters, correct? But, it, okay. but, but, let, but, let, but let me, that's my question, but let me end it on this note. The Nomos, I mean, not the Nomos, the Dogon and the Hopi tribes have the same quote unquote creation story. And they, they both have to do with uh, the dog series. And you know when we talk about uh, these "quote unquote" creation stories, <laughs> go go ask brother Sanchez. I'm gonna just leave it right. I'm not even gonna go into it. You can answer my question about the conception of the waters. No, I'm finish, go finish. Um, yeah, the, the the Hopi and the Dogon have the very similar "quote unquote" creation stories, right? And what 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 everything suggests that when we talk about ancient American things, especially Turtle Island, is that you know it's real amphibious. Like you understand that it's coming from out the waters. It's coming from the waters. Everything has to do with the waters. You know, you showed the fungi, the pre tree thing. There's a flower called the hy hyphacin flower that reproduces itself over and over and over and over and over. I believe it's pronounced the hyphacin flower. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That when you put it in water, it keep re re reproducing itself. Right. But I, I think all of this, all of this stuff meshes all together at the end of the day. I just wanted you to touch on that conception well, with the waters in the sky thing. That's all. Well, yeah. I, you know, not to yeah, cut so. anybody off, but, you know, if you're talking about the, the, the Dogon tribe, you know, the, the cultural, you know, the Dogon well, tribe is from Africa. So the, the cultural fact about that is that, they look to the skies. They look to 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 the space. Uh, is believed to be one of the earliest tribes to have an understanding of um, the star system and understanding of you know like the solar system. Or, you know when when you know when you talk about like you know as the sun result revolves around the sun and then you got like 12 months and stuff and then in that culture they their gods 
came from the sky. You know, they came from, you know, they were visited from guys from from the sky. And then, you know, that that's what I say is that, you know, maybe there's there's a missing link in modern day tradition. And, you know, um, you know, the older traditions, because, you know, if you look at all these traditions, there's a similar story. Yeah, and you the look, you and, look and, at and, 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 and let me just, yeah, let me let me uh grab the mic because you know the brother was uh asking me a question about those waters above, right? Let me go ahead and and and, and uh build with him on that, and we can pass it back and forth. But you um, know, could the water yeah. the waters be the waters above? Yeah, so, could you look? Could you look into the? Could you look into into the sky on a clear night, and then you're looking at the stars? Could that be the waters above? The waters above are the ethers. The the Egyptian call them the netters, and in some uh uh cultures they call them the heavens. So if you want to understand these waters above, I will actually even show you. Let me go to my slides how they were depicted by the ancestors. Let me show you. Well, looking at some of those pictures, you know, I'm I'm seeing the stars, I'm seeing the sun. Here you go and, right here. Here you and, go right here. These is, and, if you look, slow down, brother. Cooley Chan. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, 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 slow down. He asking about the waters above. I'm screen sharing right now. I want to show you some of the ancient artwork that spoke about these waters or these netters or these heavens. Here's one collage here. This was uh, common knowledge. In the bottom right corner, those are your waters above. But see, when they talked about Jesus walking on water, guess what? How are these people walking on the waters above? Because if you look at the Hebrew cosmos, where these people walking at, that's what that's supposed to be water, right? When they talk about Jesus walking on the water, this ain't no uh story exclusive to Christ. Watch this, right? But you know, the Hold last on. picture. Hold on, brother. You gotta you gotta let me do my part now, then I'm gonna pass it to you. Hold on. We gotta share this thing. So here go the waters above right here. This just show you one of the firmaments above our realm. It sits more of them. And here they go right here. Now, even though that says water, we know water can't hold the shape of a ball. We ain't no globe earthers here, right? This water is symbolic of celestial planes, ethereal planes. And this is what they was trying to show us right here. All of these waters above, look, look right here. They are their own dimensional planes with existence on them. This water ain't liquid. These are the magnetic oceans that's housing solid liquid and gas inside of these terrariums that we call in Earths. Earths is ethers. So, but you, this, everything I'm telling you now, in order to understand it, you got to be vice, uh, versed in ancient cosmology. That's why I chose to get into ancient cosmology to people who ever wondered is so I can know this stuff here. Cause you'll oh, think it's liquid water, but is 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 the word water is the word weather. If you take the W off of both of them, you get ether, ater. This is the same this is this is a different kind of water dealing with wattage, electromagnetic energy. You know, electricity and uh, and water flows, and they both make circuits and conduits. So you can Earth. teach yep. you can yeah you can teach about electricity to people who don't understand plasma by making water examples, and they'll say aha, cause water well, more well, understandable. I, yeah. Well, I want to I want to say this. You know, um, this is me like in geography class. And, um, you know, like the clouds are, uh, it, it's just a gaseous exchange 
So you're looking at a, a process where, you know, the water vapors go up into the clouds, which are the clouds are basically water uh, and other mixtures of, of, of gas, you know, like, you know, um, that are emitted from the earth. And then, you know, you get like, uh, other clouds that are positive and then other clouds that are negative. And then when they meet, when they meet up and that's when you get like a, a static, uh, charge. So that's when, you know, you get like thunder and lightning and stuff like that, you know, and like lightning can stri strike and that, you know, the power of lightning is like, it's immense. You know, and that that's, you know, it goes back to like people like, um, what's his name? Um, Tesla. The way he was talking about how, because the earth already has its uh, positive and negative uh, energies from like the magnetic fields that are underneath the earth and close to you know upper earth and then you know people walking around the earth you know that's charging the, the the earth you know and that's that's more energy being put into the earth so you know that that you know tesla what he wanted to do was give energy to everybody on earth you know and how he wanted to do it was just like how you receive wi-fi or how you receive radio waves and, and 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 stuff like that because you know there's energy under earth and then there's energy above and then you can transfer it and you know you basically don't need no cables just to you know tap into that energy you know and when he died all that shit disappeared it, the government just took over it and started reverse engineering it, but we're gonna pass the mic around, guys, um, and let uh, AP or either Light Man dictate where they want everything to go from here. If they wanna just let it flow, how it's flowing or whatever. Salutes. Hey, man, I'm open for whatever, man. I'm okay. just going to make sure we stick into the information. You know what I mean? Ain't no really no topic. So we just want to make sure we, 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 we entertaining the brothers and sisters in the chat and giving them what they came for. You know? Real real spill. And make sure y'all sub to the brother AP. Let's uh put his links up too, by the way. Let's um hold on. I'm going to do yeah, that real quick. Make sure subscribe to both of the channels, man. Map News and Aboriginal Power. Let's see. Hey, bro, it's kind of crazy because looking at that on the side where it says laws right next to the um, Under Armour logo in the top left, like that shit reminds me of if you was to Google theta function, like the theta function in math, it looked just like that. It almost looked like shoe with like an eye in the middle or at the hip line or something like that. So it's just kind of interesting for real. Oh. Yeah, we're going to Hey, yeah. and, uh, you know, I was just thinking about this. You know, I learned this in class. And, you know, you know, the, the sun, you know, we have a solar system. The sun is 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 a star. So the star is, you know, the sun is a nova. And, um, you know, you go outside and you look up to the sky and you see all these stars. Is basically the sun that we see in our solar system, but it's so close that, you know, we get to see it every day and it's so big, but you know, these millions of stars that you see above are all suns. They, you know, the sun that we have in our solar system is a star. And then everything else that you see as a star outside, when you go outside at night, is a sun it's a star a sun is a star so can you imagine boundless opportunities 
of like things that we can never reach, but what could be out there. Okay. Yeah. Anybody want to? Yeah. Anybody want to tackle this before I give my opinion? Please go. No, it's, it's, it's Everybody a like and share. But please let somebody else go smoke, please. No, I was just gonna. I was just gonna, you know, try to give a definitive answer as to what he was saying. Well, I don't even think a definitive answer can be quantified as to what he was saying. Like, I think he was being quite nostalgic. But yeah, the implications. The implications are staggering when you make that type of suggestion. If it's based on anything that can be quantified at all, and I don't really know if it can, but yeah, y'all go ahead. Nah, look, bro brother new to the information, man. He's talking about Clash. He obviously don't know this is a flat earth uh, channel, flat power all, all day. And, you know, somebody probably going to catch a debate real soon. But before that happens, uh, Brother Sanchez, my name is Lightman Z. I heard you call me Lightwork earlier. Right. I know you did it by accident. Right. And you asked, how did the Aborigines construct the Amazon forest as far as what this conspiracy go as? You feel me? We also kind of constructed uh, something called corn using maize and teal sente. Right. We used that and we made we made um, we made corn. Right. I, I say that to say, you know, I, I believe things could be possible. I think we did advance the Amazon forest and make the soil more uh, I'm with you. be able to re reduce. Fact, as a I'm, I'm, fact, I'm, I'm as with a you. Fact. You know, I think the, the, the confusion real quick, I think the confusion was when we said, I think you, I, I misheard you probably. I thought you were saying they literally created the world because at some point you will have to say, well, where did they get the seed from? Well, right here, where did they get that from? Right here, where did they get that from? And we'll always go, it'll go back to the Big Bang again. And they will have to say, well, they created the Big Bang. I mean... We can't, we can't deny that someone created it. We we just giving it to a spiritual or God that... that I, that is I'm not for true. real. I'm. I'm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Know, I know not true. I know not true. I know. I'm just saying in general. They give it to a, a, a mysterious unknowns of circumstances. Uh, but uh, it could have well been uh, uh, physical people, if you will, for layman's terms, that constructed this. Because remember, if they started off very advanced, they would have had the acute science to 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 manipulate math manipulate matter you understand well the whole thing that i researched is that some advanced beings that were from a higher state of matter created this lower realm and that we keep creating lower and lower realms and in these realms matter gets heavier and heavier and denser and denser but as you go up it get lighter and lighter the egyptians said be light as a feather the indian here with the feather in the hat is sim similar to the same uh, concept to where the whole being like dealing with, look, the seven spikes in the doggone Statue of Liberty, them the seven chakras right there. So these seven heavens we see, if we all, that's what I'm saying, if all of us is, is inside of each one of these ethers like the Egyptians say, like the Mayans say, they because they've been talking parallel universes. This whole flat earth map right here, this ain't nothing but the Mayan calendar that we see right here. And they got whatever the creator that created this, this realm, the Mayan got it at the middle of this thing. And it's a mother with her mouth open. Hey. And that, it, but yeah, I don't you know, know what that mean or whatever. I, I got my little beliefs, but... That go back to Bess and Patan. What the name of this guy? Oh, what the name this guy? I forget the name of this particular. Person. I just said Bess and Patan. Hello. That's Bess. Hello. That's best. Hello. Hey, yeah, hey, I hear you. Hey, oh, oh, shit, Rob. Oh, shit. Go ahead, yeah, Rob. It's, yeah, it's been well, quite well, too long. Well, well I wanted to hear. I think AP was going to give us some knowledge about this goddess because I don't really go into that a lot. But, but, he could, but yeah, you can. 
if you want to rob, you can go ahead. If, if AP don't mind, y'all got it. However, y'all want to do. Yeah, it. I got a, I got a question for AP. In the beginning of the live stream, he prefaced it by saying he was going to show scientific proof that black people are Aboriginal to America, and I've still yet to hear it. Yeah, I, I don't believe that neither. Well, okay, that says everything. AP, go ahead, get him real quick, so we could talk about Bess and Pata in the middle of that Mayan calendar. I'm if you look up Bess and Pata, bro, Sanchez on Google, the same person with holding up the tongue out, that'll pop up. And the Masons corrupted that symbol of holding your tongue out with the hands up. They they got it from Bess and Pata. But go, go ahead, AP, get him real quick. I'm gonna I'm look at, I'm gonna look that up. I think I did see Bess before with his tongue out. That's crazy. Like every, nah, that every image, that image is, in the middle is everybody that came, everybody oh, came from Africa. That yeah, one. As a matter of fact, the, the image on the on the center of this is named white, black, mm -hmm. no matter whoever they hold on, originated hold on, from brother, Africa. Let me, see, let me speak, brother. Hold on, please, respectfully. I got you, brother. It's all good. My bad. It's all good, family. This, I believe this brother's name is New Hootie Orleans, which is, I think. Goes back to what we call New Orleans when you get into some of the symbolism and spirituality of the Maya and compare that to what we call spiritual systems of the Aboriginal people in New Orleans, dominant Louisiana. Uh, we can see a, a very unique cultural similarity uh, from burial rituals to burial rituals. Where is the scientific evidence? Well, you know, you know. Hey, hey, you know, if I if I got to, you know, get in there, you know, the scientific evidence is that the oldest skeletons that were that were found on Earth were found in Africa. There you go. Found in, in Southern Africa, found in Tanzania. What was and, the oldest one? Hold on. Well, what let's was, just be clear. Scientific one? evidence is not. What was the oldest? Oh, OK, yeah. OK. Scientific evidence. Here we go. Hold on. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. What hold on, man. Rob. Hold on, Ron. Let me ask this brother. Cool. What was the oldest bones and how old were they that was found in South Africa? Um, I, I couldn't tell you like the exact number and whatever. You know, I'm not. I, I couldn't remember like that. But I could tell. I could tell you. I could tell you. The, he wants the, to talk about anything besides the the, the, the oldest effect. bones found in the world were found in Southern Africa and the oldest, the second, the second, the second oldest bones of human were found in Tanzania, you know, and these were both burial sites. And then, you know, I, I, I love how, you know, no I, I love, I, I love, I, you know, hey, sir, I, sir, I love monkey, I, monkey bones. And I don't believe that you, no, 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 but no, I okay. It's smarter to understand that you don't descend. No, no, I, I, I understand. Old, 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 I understand what you're saying, but one at a time, man. One at a time. No, I, I was saying that you know I understand how you know what you're saying, and that maybe you don't believe it, and then maybe you know being called African to you is beneath you. You know, maybe you want a higher level because African. Is not on your level, bro. Shut but, your ass up. The reason why niggas hey, don't got down him, with talk, the, dude. But you talking to Rob, you're just stupid. That's ass, rude, man. That's like, well, you know, I'm, that I'm saying that shit. I'm saying that shit is dumb to say that. The reason, why, the reason why man. black people is going to Africa is because they were shunned by the African community. That's why niggas is looking in America for histories and all of that shit. So to say we don't want to be African is some dumb shit. So just understand. No, 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 no. No, I'm not saying that. I'm I'm not saying that in in anything in my speech. All, all I'm saying is that you know, you know, it's a certain people that you know would not want to be associated with that, you know. And then that they, here comes this um, this talk about okay, did it Africans was, it, it migrate was, it was, to Africa or was Africans always there? Good question. No, no, no. According according to science, everybody in the world might started from according Africa. According to science, according oh, to you, no, according to you, no, no matter if you religion, might, religion, they're baiting science. you. Hey, they're baiting you, man. Don't let, you you. don't let them bait you. Don't let them bait you. Why are we talking hey, about listen, this? Hey, listen. Why are we talking about this? Bones. 
Let him stick we to were the talking phone. about the Give origins of Aboriginal Americans. Now we're talking about Africans. This bum, is, this bum, is bum, bum. Fuck is you always coming up here talking. I don't even know why Brother Sanchez <laughs> lets your ass up here. Because Brother Sanchez either. loves me. You know? you, you, I let him up here because the wolves need something to eat every now and then and we could he he come up here as opposition and i know it's just it, it, you know it's gonna be good for sparring but yeah you right fall back though rob though man a little bit man let these brothers cook man right now man because they got to talk about them boom 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 <laughs> boom boom come on t let's talk about them bones y'all which which you don't believe in, right, Brother Sanchez? Fossilization, all of that? You just sitting back until the right time to bro, strike. Bro, I'm saying after 200 to 300 years, them bones is ashes. I believe in ashes and ashes and Thanks. dust to dust. Hey, bro, Thanks. let me let me ask you this. You know, how is it how is it that in a lot of talk about uh, the higher, um, you know, ascending and this and that, you have to talk or certain people have to talk about the um the um the dog what's what's the name all right i'm forgetting the name but this is a tribe in africa dogon yeah the dogon this these are these are african people born and, the and, culture and, is african and and, and we and know then, we, i understand about the Dogon. Let me let me explain something to you real quick. Have you ever heard of Laird Stranton? Nah, never. I can guarantee you everything you know about the Dogon come from that one white man. He 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 wrote most of all the literature about Sirius Star System, all that. Guess what? I debated him on the Killer Priest show and I tore him up because he don't know what he's well, talking well, listen, about. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. No. You got it? So so listen. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just talking about the the Dogen people because you know that was like a one people singled out because I'm talking about the the whole cultural system in Africa and how it it relates to the whole cultural system in Asia. And, you know, from up, you know, like you know, to Central Asia. And then the whole cultural system in um hold, hold on, brother. Let me ask you a question, man, because y'all been letting you speak a lot real quick. Did the Dogon say that they come from the Sirius star system? Um, I, I don't even know what the Sirius star system is, but okay. I could tell you that you know the our culture in africa is that we we um it's ancestral you know extraterrestrial ancestral you know your you, you know your father died your uncle died your grandfather died they really haven't died in your family but moved on to a different space under the ground that's what so it means. So you talk, you talk to them. So the all the whole traditional system, we dance, we do this, we pour some beer, you know, and then you know what I'm saying the it, it, and it's so crazy how in America people don't even recognize how this is like you know a part of their culture. They pour down some liquor. Yo, pour, you didn't even know what Dogon like was called. Not, how are you going to say that it, American don't realize? It's, it's, we it's teaching you, bro. We it's teaching you how how does American don't realize when we teaching you? Yeah, and then on top of that, this AP and Brother Sanchez show. Honestly, we need to take a vote right now, Cooley Chan. I think you need to fall back, get your questions ready, and probably ask them later on. Cause, bro, you here, come here, from here, a bro. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fall back. Yo, hey, I can't, can't join the party. No, well, I think you need to be quiet. Not the conversation, God. bro. You saying your thoughts out loud because you ain't never thought of yeah, it. It's the first time you thought about this shit. Like we talk about this all day. My my bad, hey, boy. Nah, I, I really don't know why because I'm not doing. It. Anytime I keep fucking saying something, everybody got something to say to. Matter of fact, you produce, got the flow. I want him to produce the bones that he mentioned. 
the bones you said was the oldest over there. Before you leave off this, um, before you leave off this Zoom call, you need to find them and give us a date before you even go anywhere. Since you're spilling all this about Africa, 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 the bones that you said was in Tanzania and the other location, you need to give us the name of them bones and give us the timeline and was they homo sapiens or was they these hominid people? Bro, he don't know that shit, bro. Okay, uh, now nah, I know what a homo sapien is. That that's don't that's know like that shit, bro. Yo, we that, ask, you know, we if, 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 if we you know about homo though. sapiens, you know about we Karl Marx. So it's 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 the Karl Marx came up with the with the. I ask you about the bones, yo. The bones. <laughs> check the chat. Check the chat. Get the check bones. Yeah, funny ass nigga. The bones, Coley. The bones, yeah. Check the chat. The bones. I'm not checking in. If you, if it's your article, read it and, and tell us what it is. Hold on. No, I'm, 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 about, I'm about to look it up on Google because I forgot the dates. No, stuff. whoever just pulled them up, talking about check the chat. Now, nigga, you, you, know, you pull it up you know and you read it. You know who? It you was just Google stuff. something. What you do is you just Google the shit you hear saying, uh, and then you find an article. In the yeah, unlike you, chat. unlike and you guys, unlike you guys who study books for hours upon hours for years. years. I know. Article, you can't even. Uh, where's you can't app? Even talk about you guys it, are wise yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 Hey Sanchez, I'm, where the app power go? I mean, that's that's what I'm looking for. He leave his own fucking um live. I'm trying to uh, I'm gonna drop the link back out. He probably uh fell off or something but yeah let me drop the link back out that's crazy i know this too but I'm yeah we're interested we, Go ahead, sorry about that yeah and we're gonna oh, yeah. let cooley chan fall back man and also uh rob the thing about this show i'm gonna let aboriginal power let me know who who we want you know on this motherfucker not him and uh light man and uh matter of fact you know how we'll do that We'll make that a democracy, man, like with, with everybody. Like if these trolls get out of line, take away too much, we can vote them on and off. That's how we do it. Mm -hmm. I went to the people. Because uh, the, the man Sound agreed. Sound good to me, my brother. Yeah, the man agreed to have a panel, but, you know, we, do, we still got to scream, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He sent out every red flag you could mention. You know, I'm coming straight from school, straight from the science, straight from the professor, straight from this, straight from that. And he believe in monkey bones. It's a wrap. He need to fall back and just learn. But I do want to hear A1 talk about these bones and verify them to Rob because oh, I think- man, got, no, bro. Like, yo, what, you, you think like African people are You got to fall back, brother. You're, Is you're, that what you're, you're Listen, brother, we, we done with the Africa thing. You know what I'm saying? We we you got to sit back and just learn. We done talked about this for years. Just so, so I, I want to ask you, where do you believe that you came from? I don't believe any. I know I can, I know I'm world. from. We believe yeah, we came from the America. invisible world. That's what America we came from. The invisible the world, land, bro. You've been you've been misled about this whole Africa. America is the oldest land. All the oldest pyramids and structures is over here. Not outside what you think West Africa That's is. That's not true, bro. man. Okay, so I mean, true. So, you know so what? when you Rob, talk about Egypt, the pyramids according. is in America, not Africa. When you That's talk no, about it's not. Egypt. No, it's not. Wait, it's right Egypt. I can prove it's it right now. It's in Illinois, you dumb fuck. Go look right, it up. Egypt is in Illinois. Drop Egypt down, Egypt down Egypt. in the chat. Egypt. It's stupid. I don't want to yell. I'm not going to yell. Can we vote now, Brother Sanchez? Yeah. Yo, so so check from Illinois? Check. Hold up. Hold up. Coolie Chan, guess what, yo? You doing a lot. Hey man, you doing a lot. Guess what y'all need? Guess what Rob and Cooley need to do? And I ain't gonna hop to get a vote. I'ma just let y'all go because we deep anyway. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to let new people talk. You talk the minute, Cooley. Rob, you always over here, man. So let's let's let us let us pass that thing around to everybody else, man. For real. Hey, save me a little bit of that Cooley Chan nigga though, cause yeah, he gonna learn today. If smoke said that. If, if smoke wanna, uh, if you wanna address that man, you can. Yeah. First of all, Cooley Chan, how how do you identify as an individual or as a people group? I identify as a as an African, um, as a people group. Um, I'm from the Zulu 
uh, nation. So if you heard about Shaka Zulu, that's uh, that's that's my bloodline. Right, right. And you was you was born in Africa. Yes, I was. Okay, well, you know, it's niggas over here. I don't know if it's niggas in Africa, but the niggas over here was born in America, bro. So we, we wouldn't do this. Hold, hold on. This is how we have a conversation. You talk, yeah. I talk. When I'm talking, you cease talking. When you talking, I cease talking. Confirm? No, nah, I understand. Dig that. Okay. Let, let me re, let me reiterate that. Right? The niggas over here was born in America, bro. So we don't say, we don't say, you not African, you American, because we was born in America, or because someone outside of your source group told you that somebody came from somewhere else, and you really haven't confirmed that with those people, right? You use the outside sources to try to make a confirmation. So you know we gonna we just gonna respect it on that level. And now if you have questions, ask the questions, but don't make the assertions before you do so. The floor is now yours. Well, you know, in in retrospect into what you was telling me just now, you know, I understand what you're saying. And uh, I didn't even come into the conversation trying to tell somebody like, yo, this is where you came from. But I feel like, you know, if you have the black skin, you know, you are part of me. You know, we all originated from the same place whether you were born here and and whatnot your ancestors did not really come from this land because like you know if you look you know it whether you would want to say this and that you would look further down going down to the mayans and whatnot these people look mexican you know, and that's not no offense to anybody that's Mexican or whatever, but you know, they they look Native American. You know, they, this this these are their people, and <laughs> you know, I, I I'm I'm you know, and 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 may, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but this is my belief, and I feel like you know the narrative that. Uh, that is say that. Hold African, up a second, man. Uh, African hold, hold on, hold like on a second. Hold on American a second. American people, B big Aboriginal. It's, it's a, it's a lie. A big Aboriginal power. Where yet, man? We dropping a link. Uh, he on his way back in now, bro. Sanchez. Okay. His computer died, and so he's uh, reaching. Putting the plug in. And okay, that, that, that's what's up. I'm just making sure. Always something. And always then something. and then we could change, Sister Betty. If you would like to change the bill or go wherever you want to go, you can too. Because uh, you know. No, I want to hear from A one. He ain't been trying that's to. That's what I want to hear. I want to A one respond to this right. man, Cooley Chan. Yeah, Cooley yeah. Chan, sit inside the chair, watch the dude go on the blackboard and, and draw some stuff for you. Cause you, this this is new to you, brother. Just sit back for a second, Rob. You gonna learn too, unless you want me to bust your ass later. But A one, go ahead, man. Do your thing. Tell no, us, what, hold on, smoke, smoke, smoke. Let let A one do. A one, please, can you please tell us, dude, what the fuck it is? Hey man, don't call my name out unless you want to talk. <laughs> hey, look. hey, look, as far as what you're saying, brother, you know, we don't over here, we don't subscribe to Africa being the oldest land. And no disrespect to you, brother. I understand that you was misled like the rest of academia, but America is the oldest land, brother, when it comes to when we talk about after the Deluge and we talk about the first land out of the water, the first dry shores on the planet. We talking about America, brother. When you talk about the Omex and the Mayans and the Incas, go and look at the Boma Park murals. Go and look at the Mendoza Codex. That I mean, Mendoza's Codexes. Go and look at the Omex statue. These are Negroes, and they did not come from Africa because Africa don't have the science that's in Mexico or that's in the Yucatan Peninsula. It's not identical science, but what we do got is we have information that says thought. Right? Um, Nigazada, right? You want to say Quetzalcoatl or whatever you want to call him, Tahuti, left from South America where they found his emerald tablets, right? They find his emerald tablets in South America, right? 
But with that being said, they said we left from over here and went and built them um, pyramids and all of the structures. Now, some people don't even believe them pyramids was even built. Some people believe that they was constructed in the early 1900s, late 1800s. That's a whole nother conversation. But as far as what we telling you here, and you saying that the oldest bones come from Tanzania, I don't have no recollection of any of that. They said the oldest bones came from Muhammad, AKA Lucy, um, Lucy, but we have a loser, we have a loser in America as well as a Nile. Lucy Everything was Everything he said was Lucy false. was South African bones. Brother, uh, what are you uh, saying? Lucy was a damn ape. It was yeah. a monkey, bro. We don't Lucy come from monkeys. Oh, ape. okay, okay. Well, well, uh, okay. If, right, if it's right. not so if cool. it's not Lucy, but cool. I, I would re I would rebuttal cool. like what you was telling me uh, oh. about like the buildings and stuff. Cause if you want to name structures, I, I will name structures in Africa. You know, we'll start with the great pyramids of Giza. Are you talking about but where, where are you we're, from? We're, we're we would talk about right? but y'all but guess what here's what here's where both of y'all gonna have a problem with both of y'all need evolution and the timeline of evolution to explain y'all arguments because if you if you hit him with the Lucy right he gotta explain how Bigfoot Australopithecus them that's gonna lead him down a path of humans evolving to homeo. Uh, sapiens and all that from Australopithecus. But if you take the American Currently bones, it's sapiens, sapiens. Cool. If you if you take the American bones, humans still went sapien, sapien yet with those. So you still will be at a later point in the evolutionary timeline. But both of y'all are stuck with evolution, and that can be debunked right there. That's where you're gonna. That's this a chess game. I already looked at all the checkmates years ago and if you gotta use evolution you gonna lose in a debate if you debate a cat like me hey sanchez we talk about we talk about Luzia and we talk about naya these are homo sapiens these are not no hominy or no monkey creatures these are full human beings okay um, they still ain't the we, type we are today, though. Is so you still would need yeah. evolution, even though yeah, from a later a point. Food, and it's a hundred thousand years younger. You, you Says still, who? Says okay, who? I'm, 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 let me, let me, yeah, Rob, fall back. Let me holler at the brother A1. Says the evolutionary timeline of human of the human genome. So if you look at the evolutionary timeline, it starts from a single cell organism that landed in the ocean from space on a comet. That came from a fish type single cell simple creature to this thing that crawled on the land and became a goddamn monkey creature and just all this crazy shit right but at different points of us becoming the humans that we are today you get all of these checkpoint significant bone findings which is forgeries that can be debunked like lucy like the one in america and it's all to back up the fact that Humans were indeed evolving from a primitive state to a more advanced state, and I disagree with that. Now we don't. I don't subscribe to no um, evolution. And when we talk about these, when we talk about just the age of the bones itself, that ain't got nothing to do with evolution itself. That don't. That just got something to do with the timeline of the bones that they found. That they found. But we can even take it a step out of that. You have other archaeologists. Michael Cremor and his team of archaeologists that they all got ostracized within academia because they made claim that they found that they found um, bones in an Illinois cave that was 200 feet um, below ground. Okay, they're dating this shit at 300 million years. I'm not saying that, and I don't subscribe hoax. to it. Was a hoax. It was. I know it was a hoax. I know. I know. I know. So Michael Cremor who's a real archeologist and he have a team of archeologists and all his archeologists, when they even found this stuff, they went to the lead archeologist and he told them, no, it's not that old. You have to keep it within 20,000 years. That means that these people have been hiding the history all this time. And they're trying to keep it along their evolution story, along the 6,000 year story that we always keep hearing. This is what they're doing. Well, why why is it that you know if 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 these people hate 
uh, black people so much, why would they say that, uh, you know, um, evolution started in Africa? Because guess what? Let me explain. That's a good question. The way that eugenics have our science set up, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Every human that's first, like if you say, well, black people were first. Well, according to science, the first humans were dumb as hell. They hadn't evolved to get smart yet. That's why when you look around the world, nobody want to be first. Nobody want to be first. That's why I was telling folks like, no, nah, that, that see some, you can't, t when the devil give you some, you got to question it. Why? Because if they, if think, think about what you just said, if they run the world, why they don't want to be first? Why would they say, oh no, we last, we last, man. Y'all was first. You don't get it, bro. They showing you that the first humans are dumber and primitive and that the humans don't get smart and become can, technological can until later. That's eugenics. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, brother Sanchez, what's going on? You all right? Uh huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm let everybody build. I'm that, muting that up now so fact, everybody though. can. I'm gonna mute up so everybody can build. Salutes, ape, and everybody else. Y'all got it. Hey, bro, Sanchez, can I get in for 15 seconds, please? Hey, brother Sanchez. Mm hmm. Yeah, just just wait. I want to add what, to what you said. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. That's the hey, that thing doing? they do in the history books. Do you notice how when you learn about American history, they started off talk about the Omex, the Maya, the Native Americans, and all of them. But then they say in 1492, the white man came and he took over everything. They don't want the white man to be first. They want him to come in 1492 because he's the colonizer. He's the... um. He's smarter, he's better, he got the guns, the weapons, he invented everything. And they wanna make Earth, they wanna make it seem like everyone else was primitive and they was dying from diseases and they didn't have the tools. You know, and I wanna to add to that fact is that, you know, you know, as much as you wanna put uh, a light to a lot of stuff is that, you know, why is it that we endured 300 years and maybe more for some because slavery was just not in America, but slavery was also happening in Africa. 300 years or and more of slavery. Why is it that, you know, if, you know, why is it that Mm. Where did where where did where we did where where, where did we oh we were slaves over here, where did we, where where did where we did where where we all right, lose bro, you're stuttering too much I, I, I don't even know what your point is no I'm saying like where did hey, we brother lose man, listen place? we wasn't slaves over here slaves are Slavic people do you see the dude Rob Rob is a Slavic you understand. Slavic people was it's enslaved not, in America. No African or no Negro, no Negro featured person was ever a slave. A slave is a Slavonian. This is a fact. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know Rob. Sorry about that. I, I ain't even so who is who is it's who is picking cotton on the on the black? Who was pick? We was picking our own Everybody cotton. Cotton was a commodity. Cotton was a commodity. It was a commodity. Was our family owned family owned family owned farm. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, brother Sanchez. Brother Sanchez. Okay. Uh huh. Brother Sanchez. Yes. Hey, what's happening, man? What's going on? You tell um, this me. Mother, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. This, this mother is uh, from the Bahamas. You know what I mean? Living here in America now, and you know what I mean. I've been here a few years now, and you know the way, man. The way people. From the way my color get treated here, man, we don't get treated like that in the Bahamas. I'm from the Bahamas, man, and and I mean, man, I never knew this much homeless people in the world. In America, in my life, I never see this much homeless people. Do you hear me? It's so sad the way homeless people get treated, man. You hear me? And they call us African American. We ain't no African American, man. We best in these, man. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. I Your people Bahamas. ain't from Africa, y'all. Uh, y'all, right? You, you, you said, yeah. So my thing is like, uh, 
and I'm waiting on, still waiting on. And brother, brother AP, to join. and I yeah. want, I don't want you to Google fossilization after you're done, um, brother Sanchez, because we're gonna get down to them bones. Yeah. Bro, can I say something? Bahamas, brother Sanchez, can, can, real bro, quick. Can I say something on fossilization, please? The Oh man, let's Bahamas. let 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 let's, let's, let's please let Rob get his. He, he said 15 seconds. Let's let him get his thing in. Get, get, you got it. Anyway, yeah, listen. Nah, I want to I want to rob 15 seconds to rob. Hold on. The reason why the reason why it's so hard to find human bones is because my bonus said. Yeah, go ahead. Because they actually they, they disintegrate after a long time. So yes, it is hard, hard to find them. The ones we do find are preserved in some like mostly the like crazy ways. Like some are preserved in ice, some are preserved in volcanic ash, some are preserved. Okay, in we rock. know about that. That's what he's asking me about fossilization. We know about. Okay, okay so brother, so let me grab the flow. People, we grown folks. I know that these folks taught us a lot of stuff coming up, but you ain't grown if you ain't never questioned none of it. If you just keep repeating that shit, you ain't real adult yet. Even if what they ta taught you was correct, but you still didn't challenge it as an adult to verify it. See, w w at your adult age, some come, that's the verification age. That's when the Bible say prove all things. Ain't nobody fault if you get bamboozled at these ages. Now, let me show you why I'm saying all that, why everybody just let me cook a minute. Let's talk about fossilization, which is the biggest trick in a, I'm talking about, dude, this is so laughable, right? That if a damn fish uh, is on a rock, right? Or in the ground a certain way in a pressurized spot, right? That, let me show you some. The fish will leave an impression over time on a rock, y'all. Let's, let's show you something like this. Now, look. There's videos where you can see people making fossils, man. Folks make this stuff. If y'all think that a fish will lay on a rock for a bunch of years and it'll just make an impression in a rock like that, something wrong with us, y'all. We got to stop letting them play us like that, bro. The, the, the fucking flesh and bone fish will disintegrate, biodegrade, and it will never win against the rock. The rock will never make itself moldable to flesh and bone under no circumstance. This is why you can't find human fossils, and we've been dying too. Show me a human fossil. Show me a human fossil. Guess what? You can't find a dog fossil, a cat fossil. It's only the fossils that they want you to find uh, to prove they bullshit. Bro, I don't believe this. This, Because fossils is the only thing that can prove evolution. When you say, look, we can prove dinosaurs because of bones. We can prove this or that because of bones. They don't got the bones. All they got is the fossil. So these folks can take a rock, carve a prehistoric idea of an animal on it, never show you no bones, and say, look, but we found this fossil under the ground. And y'all ain't never found the fossil playing as children in the backyard? All this life dying? All, hey, man, come on. This is something we got to really talk about, bro. Especially when you go and ask forensic people how long does it take bones and stuff to biodegrade. It, it becomes laughable, yo. Okay, so Lizia and I Oh, man. We know that a fossil ain't a bone. That's what I'm telling you. Huh? That's what I was telling. Yeah, Rob, that's he wasn't listening. Go ahead. You got it, bro. You got it. I said Luzia and Naya is fossilized human remains. Look them up. It's saying Lu it's saying Lu literally Lucia, on every Lucia. I, no, Lucia? I'm saying I'm saying right. okay, if they want to give you Sasquatch fossils, that's on them. I asked a question. I said, with all this life that's been dying on Earth. With all that diamond mines and gold mines in Africa, why them little children ain't digging up oh, fossils? And why well, they ain't dealing up? See, my thing is the only people finding fossils in the ground are the people that got something to hide and shit. Now, check this out. These folks got a fucking skull. Think, think about what I'm about to show you right there. Let me show you something. These Wait. folks, these folks, Can let I me in, let me in this. It's going to get chaotic, man. It's a fight going on. 
So you got to let them brothers work. Ain't no breaking it up. Y'all got to let them swing and get it. Then y'all can get on. Yeah. So what I'm telling you, my brother, right here is this. When these folks said that they got the skulls of your ancestors in their hand, this is an art piece. You see this? All of this is porcelain. It's fake. And I know that hurt. I know that hurt, but bones don't last that long. This is a trick that the media is doing. They can't call it a bone. Guess what they got to call it? A fossil. And then they can take the fossil and replicate it into a porcelain skull. Just, but see, that's what I'm saying, like this shit right here. They said that those oh. are fossilized human footprints on the ground. Man, can I cut in for like a second? Just like two seconds. You know, uh, have you ever dried some fish or like some, you know, anything with some bones? Have you ever dried it with salt? And how long does it last? And then you can imagine that, you know, salt comes from the ground and then certain soils and even volcanic ashes have those type of minerals that will preserve certain stuff, you know? So, when, you, know, when, you know, when they talk about fossils, it's just like how, you, you know, on a regular day, basis, like you preserve hey, like... Hey, but here's, and here's the problem. And, that, and, and, uh, and that's so... Uh, are, that, are you, that's are you so not aware? We know how the, fossil, we know how the fossil... We know how the fossilization process work and what they tell us. But have you never looked up all the stories where they found that these fossils were forgeries and fakes? See, you don't look at that side of it. When you start looking at both sides to this whole paleontology scam, you will see that all of this shit where they talking about we found giant fossils and dinosaur fossils. Man, all of this is to prove shit on an evolutionary timeline that if they didn't have that fossil for, it'll shatter that whole goddamn timeline apart. I already did streams on this. So what I'm telling you based on that is it's strategic for them to, and when they, when they go on looking for these uh, fossils, they automatically have a team that say, look, there's a, a dinosaur, a hypothetical dinosaur that should exist in this area and it would have ate this food and it would, it's starting on a theory and a hypothetical. They go and dig in that area and they find the shit every time. Dude, I don't believe it. You could believe it. But based on when you realize what's going on, what I just told you, I'm not believing that. You just guessing that, hey, if we go dig over here, we should find humans, uh, oldest common ancestor, Lucy, in this part of Africa, in this part of the ground. If we dig there, theoretically, we should find it. Oh, look, we found it. We keep finding it every time, and we call it every time. Dog, I'm not. That's a fucking scam. What? What? what hold, do no, you, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Cleet Chan. Be quiet for one second, please. A1, I need you to clarify something to me. Right. They said that so-called black people came over here via the slave trade in the 1600s. Right. That's the first time they came over here. Right. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. Now, why would they insert Luzia and Naya, which is fossilized human remains found in Americas? Why would they insert them into the story? Wouldn't that be a contradiction to the story that they that they are inserting? They you, you understand what I'm saying? They try to say we first came here in the 1600s. Luzia and Naya was found here thousands of years ago. So, A1, can you please explain to Brother Sanchez or me or anybody here, why would they find Negro bones here at the same time trying to say that we came here later on? They're not Negroes. Yes. Louise is I'm not a familiar, Negro. I'm familiar with um, bone wars, and I, I do know how they took all these chicken wing bones and took other bones and created these dinosaurs. But when it comes to, when it comes to them finding human remains, you know, I mean... You know, I mean, we'll all be under the the, the um, miseducation of them saying that they found these bones unless we was there and unless we could actually see them disintegrate. That's like we we'll have to actually dig up a body from 300 years ago in order to even make that theory come true. You understand that, what I'm saying? So and, I was, and see, at that point, it turns into a belief system. 
kind of like the whole space thing to where, man, you got to believe this whole bone shit. Like, when if you go to school for forensics, they'll tell you in forensics that human bones don't last that long. They stop looking for your ass after so many hundred. After 200 years, they'll, they, can, they can legally Unless say... Unless there's calcium they can, in the Listen, soil. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that's what they're going to say under natural circumstances, right? But the even then, a human remain ain't going to outlast me certain metals and stuff. Let's be realistic. Wood, certain metals start to break down and, and turn into dust after a thousand and two thousand years. If you think of flesh and bone organic being some like an apple or an orange or a human, going to still be around here uh, in a fossilized form after 10,000 years, man, I bet you somebody that went to school for forensics and because they have to study bodies decaying in different type of processes, underground, above ground, all that stuff. And guess what? If you go and look at what they studying, they I know they know the scam of this fossilized uh, of this fossilization. I know anybody in that field already know it's a scam. But it's been debate about fossils for years, just like carbon dating. Hey, in a in a forensic studio, they will tell you that calcium can preserve a body for a long, preserved period of time. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm yeah, just yeah. I'm what, just what saying. About, what about Ca cryogenic? Calcium, cryogenic, yeah. cryogenic, freezing somebody. There's certain minerals that can provide. Here's what's uh, going uh, on. Here's Go what's going on. You gotta take the most simplest path, right? The simplest path is that ashes to ashes and dust to dust and that the, the conditions got to be damn near miraculous for human remains to be preserved in any state after 10,000 years and all these crazy numbers like that, man. So the thing that I would say is this, the easiest thing for us to say, especially when we saw that they've cheated and they, they known to be liars in paleontology, in the fossilization game, and even the brother brought up the chicken bones. Good point is show he done his research. Check this out. The path, the path of least resistance in that point is, oh, they lying to us. And that's so easy to say, especially when we caught them in a whole bunch of lies before. That's easier than me b believing in these miraculous conditions. So on a, uh, what they call it, fulcrum, what, what's the name of that? Law, uh, you know, the path of least resistance. That's basically the law. I can't think of it now. But so that's what I'm going to do. That's being scientific right there. You Occam's take the, you razor. Take Occam's razor. Thank you. So under the laws of Occam's razor, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Like, I'm going to take the easiest path, which is these liars lying again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to now create all these demolition, man, miraculous conditions y'all doing. And I'm just going to ain't going to do it. Do that for these liars. Hey, man, I could debate this forever, but A1 or whoever y'all want the mic, y'all can have the mic, man. I just think there's uh, two separate factions going on in this debate. I believe that um, there's a set of us who are, there's a set of us who are um, using our third eye and our spiritual understanding to decipher history. And then there's a set of y'all who are still letting books and the things that you read, which is at the very least secondhand knowledge, um, determine what you feel about history. And that's what it and is until we can come to a, a singular perspective this debate is going to go on forever but if you was lied to in school trust and believe that you was lied to on the internet as well so i just encourage everybody to, uh, to to dig deep into self and to understand what makes sense you know what i'm saying everything that you read just because somebody a quote unquote scientist said it don't make it real because nobody even on this panel even asked themselves what the hell is science to begin with Science is different to, to, to different cultures. So when Rob comes on here talking about what's the scientific proof, science to who and what science are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You never question that. You talk about European science? What are you which talking is wrong? about? See, now, now you're talking silly. We're getting off in the twilight zone. Here we go. Uh, okay, Rob. Well, I'm not going. I'm not going. Because I honestly feel like you, uh, 
not capable of this type of debate. But anyway, science I'm just uh, science, man. What are you talking about? We all we all know the same that? science. No, that's what I'm talking about. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Science is just not science, man. Science is different. <laughs> different. Oh my god! <laughs> like come come the fuck on, man. Like oh, where the, where, where you want me the... to go? Tell, tell me where you want me to go. Show me where you want me to go. I don't know. You're not making I'm, any sense. You that, said that was science. Input. Science. I'm gonna let them finish debating. And jump in where I want to jump in. I don't. Well, I, I, just, have... I just bumped in because you said my name, and I'm just thinking people yeah. saying my name, and it's like, what the hell, man? You guys don't give me a chance. I don't understand what you mean. Real. So science is science. Real. We all know the same science. We all get information from the same place. We all read books. We all read history stories. We hey, hey, read... hey, we ain't got. We, we don't need to deal with Rob for real. We don't need to be dealing with Rob. Even agree with historical timeline. Real quick though, this is because this is a real, this is a real touchy real touchy uh, topic, right? And I think for the edification of the people, we should just review what the definition of science is and see if we can agree upon that. Then see, we can take it from there. What, what's going on? You I think, I, think I, 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 I personally I personally think that we let Rob take us to a, a less advanced conversation, right? Because if we don't need, we don't deal with no form of science, Rob, over here. We deal with scientific method. And I could pull that up to you, the scientific method steps. If a nigga ain't doing that, it's secondhand, period. But I agree. I agree. Like the scientific method. Well, let's see some scientific methods to, to explain how black people are aboriginals to Americas. People, you can start. Well, people, I mean, people will start. People, people will start presenting these observations to you. What? Why they say that, man? And then when it come to uh, a person telling you who they are, I don't really think a person need a scientific method all the time for that because a Jew ain't using a scientific method to show you they're a Jew. They using a belief system. And all like that, but yeah, you we can keep you, you, you could go ahead, man. Whoever that, yeah, was. but I, I don't want yeah. them to, I don't want them to, to tell me they are, I want them to show me they are. I mean, well, I mean, what are you what, what are you looking for? Are you looking for uh, uh, uh the, same, writings? the same way, the same way you guys know I'm a Slav, right? Remember, you guys call me Slav, so the same how. Show me the same way you guys know that I'm a slob. The same way you. I mean, know. I mean, but you're not. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not one of those guys. So you got to talk to me. That's crazy. You, say you use science. You, you say you use science, so you have to. Sh you have like, to ask I, me I just, I'm, I just want to be honest is. though. I just don't care who a nigga is today, whether he a slob or Aboriginal, all these titles and shit. But yeah, go ahead. I know. I'm just trying to uh, discuss with the brother. Uh, he said uh, uh, he want proof that black people are. Some black people are uh, Aboriginal to this land. And I just want to know what what method is he talking about? Is he talking about scientifically? Then I can go to I can go to well, David. I'm Wright's talking work. about the method you guys use to figure out that you were. But, but, but brother, but brother, you yeah, because you always brother, go back to science. But brother, but brother, you stop lumping me in with you guys because you don't even know who you're talking to. So I deal with science. You keep you keep yeah. avoiding the question. Brother, brother. Well, if, if science ain't ain't nothing to you, then like, what, what what's your basis of how no, it I, came I to be? Science, I well, use brother, science. I'm, I'm, as, well, I have to scientifically that. prove I'm not an African. But, I was but, born but, in America. I don't I don't got anything to do with Africa. But, so I, I, I don't okay, but like your ancestors. There you go. So your great 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 mother was telling stories about how she was enslaved on that plantation. No, my great great grandmother wasn't. None of that. Uh, well, uh, I mean, let, let me let me. You know my grandma. The, let me let me finish talking <laughs> to the dude because I've been quiet on the panel the the whole time. I haven't interrupted nobody, so I every, just want to talk to the brother. Off. I want to talk to the brother who, mm. since he said he want proof, I'm I, I'm trying to figure out what type of proof he want. Do you want genetic proof? If you want genetic proof, I can show you genetic proof from David Wright's work of Harvard University, where he said that the original, the, the foundation population, because he said it was, it was multiple migrations to the Americas, not just one through the Bering Strait, that the first migration started with the people from Melanesia. I can start, I can start with that scientific paper. Yeah. And okay, then first we, of all, we back to Melanesia, you're talking about the totally opposite side of the world. They're not, they're not even, they're not even African people. That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you, you take a whole uh, bunch uh, of different uh, stories, you stir them up in a pot. 
you take mm -hmm. a whole bunch of different stories, you stir them up in a pot, and you serve this stew of like just lies and deception. But, 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 I, don't I, don't know, I don't know where this going, but, 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 man. But hold on, on brother. What do you do? I can, I can actually, I can actually then take you to the literary work of Hugh Howard Bancroft and his book, The Native Race of the Pacific States of North America, volumes one, two, and three, where he describes the people as uh, Negroes. So, uh, no, I he does not. That's, that's, a, that's a total literary. lie. Total Anything lie. at that time have you, have that was read white. Bancroft never called them Negroes. That's what I'm saying. Do you yeah, see this? I can, I can, I can actually, I can, I can actually pull up the quote right now if you want me to. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob, if you don't have anything to pull up, so, I can pull up the quote right so, now. so Native American people are not colored. Hold on, hold on. They're not quick, Negroes. Real quick, y'all. Y'all, y'all overlooking Native some very American pure. people is Pacific Islanders for real. Hold on, y'all overlooking yeah, some, some, of, some of them. Some of them possibly that, were. That's yes. what that's what America was. Some of hold, them, hold on, were, but you're not. Hold on, African dude. No. Hold on, African dude and European dude. If you dude, believe in, if you, if right you believe in U.S. history, history get out the Zoom call. Oh, you, if you yeah, believe in U.S. history, get out. One mic, y'all. One mic. One mic. Let let let. Come on. Smoke look, got it. Look, bro, y'all overlooking some very pivotal here. When you're talking about America, it, it has a definition. Why y'all overlooking something so simple? You can start with the definition of what an American is, and then you can go from there. You can continue. To, you can continue to use the scientific method after you determine what the hell it is that you're trying to observe. What is an American? Oh, what is, what is it? An example, oh, like. I got to be honest with y'all, man. And me and the chat, we connected. We on the same energy right now. We just didn't want to hear y'all debate about, you know, you because you, think about it. You telling me, debating with these folks, Rob, about who the fuck they are. Man, a person, grandma could have just said, we, we from this tribe, and just because they grandma said that, that's who the hell they are. That's what they going to believe. Show me yeah. proof. Show me nobody. No, I, I, I want to I wanna like, give you bro, proof. But hey, look, I, so I want to like, give you bro, proof. Bro, I don't Let's move past with, the I proof. I don't have a problem with move that. Right? Now, my, my problem is when they start trying to steal the story of the Native American Indians and say that they never existed and they're possible. Nobody is stealing. So, bro, no, bro. I'm not talking stealing. to you, Ape. Ooh, me, oh, ooh, don't get whoa, whoa, hold on time out. That's why I'm gonna stop you, bro. No, yeah, I'm old school. I've been here for a while. These people all know me. And what's excuse doing, me? They, they they can have a, a movement. No one's criticizing your movement. Name. It's great nah, that they have bro, one. Like, don't, 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 start, hey start, Rob, hey Rob, here's how we're gonna do this. Show us a picture of some old ass Native Americans looking like Chinese people. Because we can show you old ass pictures of Native Americans looking like niggas. All right, oh so we're going to end it. And if well, you can't I, do it, I, shut yeah, the fuck up. That's real science. If you can't pictures. do that shit, yeah. that's but, 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 science is a science. Your ass yeah, don't know shit about science. Yo, you can't yo, tell you hey, about look, science. Look, 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 yo. What's next? You're going to show a picture of a rapper and show a yo, picture of some Mexican, Mexican hey, guy Hey, yo, man, this shit's getting out of hand, real talk. I ain't trying to hear all this yelling over each other. Cause then yeah, I don't, man, I can't good. see who making what argument. It ain't really no kind of structured debating, man. You know, we in the big leagues, man. Come on, man. But when you say saying, show, when you say show Asiatic people in North America, yeah, you can. You can look at some of the Omex statues and see Asiatic features. But the thing is this, it still don't make them not Negro. They still, see, this is what I was saying. A lot of folks don't realize the Kemma Empire were a group of Negroid Asiatics. The Nation of Islam acknowledges this group I'm telling you about uh, at a certain point. But a lot of people know about this. And uh, th there's similar co there are so many similarities to Indus Valley civilization, uh, Hindu civilization with early Mesoamerican culture. That's why, like, Columbus never got lost. Columbus thought that he was lost because he was like, damn, did I just hey, loop around? Hey, my boy be trucking. Right, he thought, he thought that he had landed back in India because he came, when he came here, he saw them people doing that the same head. culture. He saw them doing the same culture that he saw in in, in, in the Kemmer area, in, in the Southeast areas of, you know, Southeast Asia and all that. These, these, these empires had expanded 
And now we could debate on that they expand from the Americas to Asia, from Asia to the America, but that's neither here nor there. It's just showing you that there's definitely Asiatic influence uh, in early Mesoamerica. But yeah, go hey, ahead. Hey, can I say hey. something to what you just said about the Columbus thing? Yeah. Columbus, well, a lot of us don't even believe in Columbus, but let's let's deal with this, right? If Columbus did exist, right? Columbus knew exactly where he was coming because after the so-called Moors, hold up, excuse me for a minute, let me just do this. After the so-called Moors got a spell from Europe, they came to America. He so when when the Rome when the Roman when the Romans or the Catholicism or the Christ or the Christians followed them, they knew exactly where they was coming from. When you read when you read the so-called Columbus story. He referred to these people as Nino Ndo, meaning children of God or of God. And there's other so-called Native Americans who, who basically verify the same story. Now, when he talk about coming, going to India, you know, they tell you we already know that place was called Hind um, Hindustan and all that. But he knew exactly where he was coming. That's a story for them people to be lying because he was funded by the by the um by, by the Romans. The Romans sent him over here directly if he existed. No, he was just, he was wait, funded did you by say the Spanish, Christopher Columbus? By the, the Columbus he was, was he was Portuguese, he was funded by the Spanish. But Brother, like not that's to cut story you off. That they yeah, that's according you, to US history, not, he was funded not, not to cut by you the off, Spaniards. Not that's to according cut, to US history. Not to cut you off. I just want to point out that you have Brazilian people, you know, that are, you know, when they black, they're proud of being African. You got, you got, um, you know, island people. Uh, when you go to Brazil, when they black, when you go to, they're look, proud look, brother, to be, they brother, proud I'm not trying to, to talk be African. You. I just want to tell you this. Look, look. when you go they're to Brazil... Proud. Okay, the when you culture, go to, they they about? celebrate the culture. Brother, when you they go to do. Brazil and so ask the people, they come from about Africa. About Africa. No, yeah, go go to Brazil and, and ask them that. Hey, you telling me that, I know. I mean, I'm trying to talk, but like five, six other huh? people talking. Listen, what I'm saying to him, okay? What I'm saying to you is this, brother. When you go to Brazil and ask the people on the ground, do they know anything about coming from Africa? They're going to tell you hell to the Nizzo. The same thing with all of the people from Cuba uh, uh, all the way to Puerto Rico. Who are you asking? Hey, one, hey, yo, hey, one, watch this. Stop, Cooley. The, the hey, culture, stop, the Cooley. Stop, 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 stop. Hold a second, bro. I just want to piggyback on some A1 said. When you talk to the oldest cultures in Africa, they laugh at the out of Africa theory. The uh -huh. oldest cultures in Africa say that they don't even come from Africa. They they talk about the pygmy that come from the North Pole, and we can show you they land on a fucking Mercator map. That's who they calling the dwarfs and shit at the North Pole and all that. St. Patrick damn near exterminated these folks. What's the name? He said his family came from the West. Um, Dolph. what the fuck Dolph. is um? No, Dolph. not Dolph. Um, not not Dolph. not Dolph. Um, what's the motherfucker? Um military that they had in um South Africa. They make the movie. Um what the fuck is my man name? Um the tribe when they fighting the British. Um oh my God I can't think of his name right the now. Zulus the Zulus the Zulus said their family came from the West. You know what I'm saying? And when he, he's talking about the Dogon, the Dogon they got the same the the Anasazi, right? which would have been from the real Grande all the way, you know, they change up these names with a lot of these so-called tribes and shit. And we, we really can't, we really can't verify the exact names for a lot of these tribes because they change them up, right? But the Anasazi, they saying that the Dogon got their science from the Anasazi. So when you get into the Anasazi, you'll understand that. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, like I said, even with a lot of this story, these stories we telling, a lot of this history we telling. A lot of this stuff is all mixed up, and you gotta really dig deep to cross reference stuff to see what's what what can be truthful and you know what, what can be a lot. You know what the Anasazi is? 
they came from. Yeah, tell them. You, you know, you know what? The Anasazi is a meteor, and it's a, it's a, it's a. Some folks say it's a planet. Some folks equate it to Nibiru and all that stuff, and that's why they talk about the Dogon and having this Nibiru connection and all that. They say it's the mothership and all that. If you look it up, y'all will see it look just like the UFO shit. I can screen share it for y'all. But here's the thing, right? The Anasazi. Yes, the please screen share. Yeah, the Anasazi, right? The Anunnaki and all of these different folks. I'm finna screen share with y'all right now. Well, just to make sure, everybody in this chat is saying they're not African. Like, if you black, nah. you're saying you're not African. We ain't black, black neither. We ain't black Holy, You late to the game, bro. You don't realize most of us. Africa. Most Why do you of care us been African? African okay. for like 10, 15 Wait. years. Most, bro, most I, people I'm that's curious. Thing, like, yo, most, I, I want to know Coley, about Coley, you just got out of geography class. Slow down. What I'm telling you is that most people in this chat been pan-African, bro. We didn't just wake up saying we hate Africa. We evolved into understanding about the whole American thing. It's not like niggas just hate Africa. So that's where you're wrong at. That, that's, the, that's the part that you're not realizing. No, no, I'm saying like what, what you saying that you, you know uh, there's no part of you that here we go again with the stuttering. Uh, who, who, who? Yes, yeah, so to everybody that's speaking, I don't know who got the mic, but I noticed that it got quiet there for a minute. So what I'm gonna uh share with y'all is what the Dogon teach, cause. Everybody keep bringing up the Dogon, right? And uh, like, I ain't going to even cap. A lot of the knowledge that I'm hearing from y'all, I've met the authors of the books that, that this knowledge originate from. A lot of people don't know the origins of the knowledge they say. But I'm telling y'all, man, one of the dudes that's instrumental in a lot about the Dogon that got you thinking like... Uh, See, the Dogon and Pygmy, they didn't get their knowledge from no outside source. They got their knowledge through observations. Here's the Dogon knowledge right here. If you look at the symbol of the Dogon, that symbol tells you everything you need to know about them. You know why? Because that symbol will link the Dogon to a culture that were amongst many civilizations. Look at this chart. The Dogon ain't the only people with a Kananga. In Mesoamerica, they call the Dogon Kananga a Gimbuta. When you go to the uh, Nazca lines and them big-ass Nazca lines that they got in America, what do you think them is? Dogon Kanungas. All of these people in the world had the same understanding of the universe, and that's the part of time where Brother Sanchez go back and get his knowledge. Let me tell you what Brother Sanchez did. I said, I'm going to go back to the most consistent time on earth when everybody was in agreement with, around the world, and, that, and I went and adopted that system to teach, and this is what this is right here. The, the great mother balancing the sun and moon, flat earth shit. And we can uh, sync this. We can show you here. The Dogon Kananga ain't exclusive to them. Look at this brother down there on that collage. He got the Kananga on his face. You see that? That's the same symbol. It's nothing. Let me show you what these folks did. They took the Dogon Kananga that we see on the right, which is the Hindu Mama Kali as well, right there. You see? And another tribe of dude with it on his face. Now, check this out. They took this right here, and they made it what you see on the left. The fish god shit. The nomos. The Anunnaki. The Mormons. Jesus and them. The fish god motherfuckers. See what I'm saying? Because what the Dogon knew was this about the fish. Yemeya. Yemeya was the, like, these goddesses were the first mermaids before they started having the dudes be fish gods and stuff. But let me show you some. Here's what they were saying. The goddesses was represent a womb, a portal. And the fish is right here. Okay, can I add something? Hold on one second. Let, let me finish, though. Here go the fish right here in the middle. And this, this shape that we see in the middle of this thing, it shapes like an hourglass, right? 
That's called a hyperboloid. That's what the Dogon knew about, that our Earth was an electromagnetic energy field. That's the holy grail right there. That's the grail cup. So when you look at this, that's what the Kananga is. It's a double-ended trident or what they call in the grail cup. Let's let the uh, sister and whoever else ch chime in. We'll go more from there. But, yeah, it had nothing to do with all that spooky stuff. Uh, go back to where you were showing the, um, the Dogon tribe symbol, or the, the, the symbols. See, that Dogon symbol right there, if, no, not, not the Taurus, the, um, the one with the lion, and it looks like an ant. See, if you flip that sideways, that's the same thing as the Pisces symbol, which is the 12th sign of the Zodiac, and it, its symbol is the fish. So if you flip that Dogon thing, one inside turns to the Pisces. Hey, Brother Sanchez, can I share my screen for a second so I can blow everybody's freaking brains out with this information? Yeah, and I'm going to do it real quick. The sister talking about that vesica Pisces, that's Let's correct. Just, that's correct. Yep. That the Dogon people are African. Yeah, who who, who want to screen share? <laughs> yeah. Uh, me, Brother Light. Uh, it's Brother Light, oh, man. Okay. Light yeah, man yeah, you, it's on you now. Go ahead. You got it. All right, let me go ahead and screen share. Uh, we still go, we waiting on your screen share. Did light work click itself off? He tried to screen share and hung himself up. Oh yeah, it up. looked like he did. Looked like he left the meter. Wow, wow. Okay. So with, with that, I'm gonna, I'll pin the link to the top and see if these shit aboriginal power said fuck it, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'll wrap it up then and maybe we can go live or, uh, or some shit on, on another topic. Or uh, whatever. Yeah, but, exactly. Aboriginal power punked out. He's a little punk ass bitch. Rob be coming with big Man, he this ducked. Man, he Rob. ducked out. As soon as I asked him a question, he ducked the fuck out. No one's computer on Earth takes an hour and a half to reboot. This guy's a clown. Well, I'm telling you, man, these yeah. abos don't want no real smoke, man. They want, hey, they want hey Rob. Hey, Rob. Abos, these abos, know what? Creatures like Hebrews, man. They're, they're you, know what? Hebrew you know what, Rob? <laughs> Me and you gonna have a one-on-one -on -one flat Earth versus globe Earth debate. You down, bro? Always down, Sanchez. I'll be on tomorrow. You you really going to beat up on that man like that? That's going to be like Drago. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, man. I'm like like, That's going to be like Drago beating on Apollo, bro. So you're real talk. <laughs> I said to myself, why not get this free W add on to the, you know. I mean, go and get some Floyd Mayweather on. <laughs> yeah, I, sent you, I sent you that link, man. I sent you that link in the, in the email to that, to that channel. Uh, light man back, and he gonna come with this smoke for y'all now. Yeah, let me know when my sh my screen is sharing, brother it, Sanchez. It, it, please, it's share, it's sharing. All right, so check this out, right? I need um most people like Cooley Chan and uh, other people that believe we from Africa. I need y'all to check out this article called "DNA Evidence the Bucks Out the Out of Africa Theory of Human Ev Evolution." And it also debunks the DNA test and out of Africa theory at the same motherfucking time. This is by uh, Stephen Strong and Andy Whitley. I'm not going to go into that right now. I'm going to go to what the brother was talking about before with Huber Howe Bancroft, right? With Huber hey, Howe Bancroft. Can I, comment, can I comment on that? Pic? Can I comment on that? It says right there, it says. Just make it quick. Look, hey, look, look at the top. It says, cured HIV patent our patient naturally. Oh, yeah, I believe it. I believe this one. Keep going. What? Bro, bro. what the hell? That's the ad right there. That's the ad. Hold Come on, on bro. That's you, the you, ad you, right there or whatever. You, that's you, the... you really running like that, bro? No, no. That, that's... Because this is all whack shit. He's, he's posting, he's posting <laughs> the most ridiculous things. They post the most ridiculous stuff. Hey, yo. So, let me, let, let right, me cut on. in. Let me and I'm slow. You don't say anyone else's nickname, but you want to call me an ape. I'm not slow. 
Well, let me let me ask you something. Right. Is, I'm sorry. If you if, sorry, if you if you, if you don't, don't get down for yo, 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 hey, God damn. Else's nickname. Yo, can, y'all can't have no control for one second, real quick. I just want to show something real quick. You can you can write it down, write your question down for some. I'll be done with this in less than sixty seconds. So right now I got like a compilation. Not that serious, bro. It's okay. God damn. Right now I got no, a compilation. Oh my God. Right now I got a compilation of different travelers that said they saw Negroes here when they first landed, okay? Now let me go to Cuba I Bancroft, right? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you Cuba I Bancroft, right? Yeah, he said you know it's recorded that uh you know the book is recorded in 1874, right? Now we're gonna read shit. Where it say that? Um here we go. On volume three, page 47. The brother mentioned volume three. We're gonna read it. It say, and this is disrespectful to us, but fuck it. Hubert Howe Bancroft said we was when he saw us back in the day in California, he said we were ugly, stupid, and savage. Otherwise, they are well formed, tolerably tall, and dark brown complexion. Listen to this. The women are short and very ugly, and they have much of the Negro in their countenance. They are very savage look, and they are very dark in color. Now, when you go up a little bit, on where, whereas page 103, it says their complexion is dark mahogany and often nearly black. Their faces are round and square with features approximating nearer to the African than the Indian. So it's separating you from the African and the Indians putting you smack dab in between. No, they're not. You know what he's talking about there. First of all, look at the year, 1874. I just said there was already already black people people in the West and they were breeding with the Native Americans. He's documenting that. The book was recorded in 1874. This shit goes back. But you're again, you're misconstruing what he's saying. I go to you're other motherfuckers, bro. The people he did meet were mixed. They they did look. They, some of them right. did look Can black, but they were black. Shut your ass up, Rob. Look at me. You said they looked look. black, but they weren't black. Hey, uh... Yeah, he, he said no. He said they look like they look closer to the African than the Indian. Separating the two, the Indian is the Native American that that we know today in the casinos and reservations. He said they look more to the African than those oh, niggas. That, that, the, in, the Indian was Asian. It, bro, it was listen, listen, listen. It was bro, 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 from I can India, show you Pakistan. Get talking about mixed people. Man. Bro, let him read, man. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now look, now check this out. There's many documentaries and footage and videos of people going to Mexico and asking them people who are their ancestors. They always say the Negroes, black people, or what they call Negro or whatever, right? So right here says J- James Hugo Johnson to the vig- to the visitor in the South. Phys- to the visitor in the South, the physical characteristics of the many Negro slaves bore witness to their Indian origin. And he wrote this as a dissertation in the Virginia a University. Quote, and you don't even know what he's talking about. You don't even know bro, what he's talking about. Random, bro. What are you talking about? The dude, Carlos but, but, uh, yo, the whole, you the, 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 the craziest thing is about you. That you talk like about all oh, the history books are, 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 are non valid, but then you want to go read something out there. Who, who said the no, history books are not valid? I never said the history books. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, cool, yeah. This is my yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Show ass off. Hey, man. Hey, no no way, man. Can you please? Uh, 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 Luke, uh, enough enough, you, enough of it, bro. Yeah. You know what's going to go on at this point, man? We're going to get Rob up out of here, man. I've had enough of this shit. Let's pass it around and then we can who who got what? Who 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 doing what? Let's let's get a we ain't gotta entertain that shit. Let's go to somebody else, yo. Who who's on the call that want the floor? And then cause I want I'm bro to finish know, reading. Yeah, I want I'm him to, to finish get up. explaining. Yeah, he's trying to explain to Rob why he's a yo, aboriginal. It, it's my fault, really. It's coolie, my bad. My thing be when Rob come on a call, I don't even uh like we could just ignore that nigga with certain arguments that that's crazy. Like to me, this argument ain't as far as the one we was talking about Pangea and all that shit. But I'm gonna let y'all go. Yeah, the Rob got a way of dumbing it down. Nah, you know I put a little help in that too. My bad. Okay, no, I, I, 
I am against a lot of shit that has been said. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not- what I was trying to explain to y'all was, and that's another show I'm going to do, man, the Dogon. We can go on and talk about the Dogon and pick me, all that shit. But look, I'm not going to run this show and keep keep uh, th- doing this show for too long because uh, the brother Al Power stepped out. So I'm going to shut this one out and I'm going to just go live again and I'm going to do a different title and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Wait, you yeah. about to the whole thing? Yeah, bro. Might as well, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, yeah, and I'm gonna have me something to eat or something like that, man. You know, like you know, what I'm saying you hit a, you hit a nerve on everybody when you know what I'm saying with this topic, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying that shit. You, you know, despite what you say, you are gonna see how it's gonna perform on YouTube because like everybody's gonna have something to say. Oh yeah, it's going down. Yeah, y'all next be time, ready I'm... for it. Oh, no. Hey, y'all, are y'all life, familiar? We... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I mean to cut you off. Like, can we please get into how California is named after Queen Calafia, which is the quote unquote fictional queen of the island of California? The queen. Yes. Are y'all familiar with the racial, uh, the Virginia? Uh, racial reclassification act i believe the name of it is uh, in, uh from like 1921 or something like that hey, hey so bro you need to, if not yeah, you need no, to look it up really. because what it does is it, it bans or makes it illegal for any person to uh, claim their tribe and they all have to be reclassified as black Okay, hey, hey. it's a it's a real interesting uh, act that you need to look up. And what they did was they took that act and they spread it the rest of the cross of the United States, so you could no longer claim the uh, uh, Indian tribe that you were from. You could be arrested, fined, and all kind of shit. You have to be reclassified as black going forward. Hey, bro, Sanchez, um, I, I'm I, I'm I had I'm trying to share something. It's a, it's the American. Indian emblem in the in a in in the seventeen hundreds in the African emblem in the seventeen hundreds and it and it 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 shows a lot because you just got to see it. Okay, yeah, we we can get into it for real for sure, and um, yeah, email me if anybody else would like to do you know collaborations. Yeah, but, you know, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like I said, I don't want to draw it out if the brother uh, Aboriginal power ain't on here. I can always go live again. So I'll see y'all on the next one, y'all. I appreciate it. All uh, right, yeah. I, 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 uh, I just wish you would have looked at this this pitch I had I had shared. It's, it's, um, I shared it to, this, to, the, to, the, to the Zoom. Yeah, those hey. pictures are from John Ogilvy, and then there's also pictures of white a white woman of John Ogilvy looking at black little Indians. John Ogilvy painted all the original people as Negroes inside the American land. Well, hey, hey, if if you if if you can't believe if you you know because you know a lot of what I've been hearing is that you can't believe Within your racial integrity what they his, what history has been telling you. And what such and such has been telling you, but you can read from the history books, and then you can read from such and such. It was only so if, you, if you can't believe what people are supposed to be and where they came from. Well, do you believe that a man is supposed to?